over here at 130, but we'll have to wait and see. I think if we retake 90 MA, start switching to support from resistance, I think that could be a nice look. But right now, clear resistance on ARM to the downside. I'm sure that the big kahunas will have something to say about that when we get back to them, because I'm sure no one can resist a move back to the afternoon show. We'll see you tomorrow. Same bad time. Oh, never mind. We won't. We will, but not right the second. So ARM continuing uh, to reject there. Uh, now we are good, though, so we will not be rejecting a move over to the big desk. See you tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel. Sharif at the big desk. Thank you very much, Adara. Welcome to the afternoon show, guys. Yep, marginally up here on the ES. We're up 0.13. Same thing with the NQ. We're kind of in flat territory as we have been mostly all day with uh, right at that 18 fives area. We had some good movements uh, from some of the names today. We were talking a lot about uh, J DJT, the new, uh, the newly despacked uh, digital world acquisitions company. It's had a fantastic day up well over 40 percent and above 50 percent at the highs we've also had the continuation of the reddit ipo and that continues to do well on the day as well above 14 some odd percent we talked about tesla this morning that was up aggressively on the open apple we heard uh, some uh, rumblings about chinese uh, sales being much lower than expected and that precipitated a big move down in apple we've also been talking about many other names as well uh, we've had eyes on nvidia we've I had eyes on Micron. We'll be talking a lot more about that, uh, guys, as we go on here. Uh, what is up, Obi and Sean? Good morning. Good afternoon, guys. Good oh, morning, afternoon. You, yeah. Great to have Sharif. <laughs> Great to have Sharif on the main desk here. I'm having a problem connecting my uh, Bluetooth headset, so um, I'm going to remove it right now. But okay, uh, we'll figure this out. All right. Let me pull up the chat. Wow, what a dump there for ARM is right. We're, we're just short, oh so we, we only have short Amazon right now at 180 and change, which has been a good one. We're going to wait to see if we get a little bit of a dump off there in Amazon. Um, and then we're short the NASDAQ. So welcome, everybody. I got to join the uh, right chat and everything here. I was just talking with uh, some of the individuals from Real Trading. It's going fantastic. I was looking at our new uh, room that we're in the middle of uh, building and getting all connected up. So that's fantastic as well. And now I realize that my Bluetooth will not connect and we'll get that figured out. So, Obi, how was your lunchtime? What did you have for lunch? It was good. I just had a, a quick sub. There you go. What kind of sub? Uh, it was beef. <laughs> Where's the beef? Remember you from yeah, yesterday? Yeah. What's beef? What's beef? What's, What's going on here? here? Yeah. Stop. This is Randy. No. Randy's just lost his damn mind. Uh, okay. So we're going <laughs> to... Here we go. With the sticky note like that, we'll go bear and bowl. Because today I feel like it's a little bit of back and forth, no? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, little, we've got uh, ARM that's starting to make the move down. We had Reddit back and forth. We'll talk a little bit about that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get everything sorted out. Join everybody in the chat. Should be a good afternoon. Do you know if we have Frank, Sharif? Yeah, sure. um, I don't know, Sean. We do not know. Okay, okay, we'll confirm if we have Frank coming through. Uh, but, yeah, glad to have. And how long are you, how long are you there for? Oh, just the first half hour. Okay, okay. Um, all right, so Brendan doing uh, some work in the back there. Glad to have Sharif, and we're going to go over some of these trades, including Tesla. Uh, did you already talk about Tesla? All right, let's go back to Sharif and talk about that. I'm going to get stuff figured out. Yeah, guys, today we got wind that Tesla is going to change its full, uh, full self-driving option from a one-time option at purchase into a SaaS software as a service model uh, slated to be the price in the United States is about $200. And the market liked that plenty because it pumped up here right at the open. We got off that 178 where we had been trending all morning long, got into that 184 and a quarter. But I got to tell you, Sean and Obi, it has been down and to the right since that time, the market digesting it and saying, maybe it's not such a big deal, guys. All right. Yeah, uh, Tesla's, uh, Tesla's really been, uh, you, you, ha you called that one right off, uh, right off the bat there, Sean. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a, that was a good one. Um, and I think that, uh, I, well, I, haven't, wasn't, I wasn't really looking at it, but it's given back most of, most of that game. But that opening drive, oh boy, was that, uh, was that something uh, definitely uh, strong, if you want to call it that. But uh, aggressive strength through that 180, that 170, uh, was this 177? No, that was, that was a price uh, earlier on. But that 178 hold with that pre-market high break as well. VWAP, claim, uh, lots of confluence is what I'm trying to say here. So a lot of things going on off the open that made the long good. Again, that's in retrospect, I think. But uh, Sean, 
you had this idea, number one, on your sticky note. Yeah, it was a good one. We, we really liked that Tesla trade. Unfortunately, we got mixed up with the 180 level during lunchtime, uh, gave some of that back. But yeah, it was a great trade there right off the open. And what I'm, what I'm noticing here as well, <clears throat> when, when you're kind of guessing about levels, like we tried to see if VWAP wanted to hold there, it didn't. That's what we maybe should have got out, and then we tried to get what 180 back was great. I mean, some of you uh, were watching uh, the show and probably saw some of those plays. So that was actually a great level uh, to hold down there, 180. So we actually got that back in, and that was a good one before it eventually dropped down into 180, 179. So yeah, a couple of um, odd trades there in the middle. Didn't make much sense. I feel like we're getting closer. We do want to buy some 178s down there. Look, we talked about full self-drive. I think that was a great sort of catalyst early, up 4%, I like it. I did not buy more Tesla uh, in my own account. I wasn't sure about this move to the backside here, but I like it, I think this is a good story. So for me, I'm buying more Tesla down here, but it has to get to 178. Just threw away, like just threw away money here. Like we tried to go long 180, it worked. We I, actually, we didn't throw away that much, but it's just, you know, we did break 180 there, then we had to get it back, and then in here again, back and forth through 180. So just pretty choppy in this area right now. I feel like, I feel like we just got to wait for this bottom to hit. That may be influenced because I'm short the triple Qs here. Um, and by, by way of TQ, let's see if that can get downside. But for right now, Tesla's going to have to be a wait. And I'm really getting upset about this earpiece. DJT guys, <laughs> that's all good, Ram Ram. Uh, DJT guys had itself an absolutely fantastic day. It's up 45 and a third percent right now. Listen to this: at $49.95, Donald Trump's um, portion of shares in this company was worth $40, 40 billion dollars on paper. Well, we're $22.75 higher from where that was. So he's added roughly, uh, you know, almost like almost uh, one and a half times here what he had there in the morning. He owns about 80 million shares of the stock, which is about 58% of the company. This had a fantastic day. We traded it multiple times today on uh, how to trade on the midday show. There's that 70 dip right off VWAP, Sean, and it comes into that 75 area, giving back a little bit right now. What is your look on DJT? Okay, here we go. We should be right. we, we should be discovered. We went into ultimate pairing mode. Yes, ultimate pairing mode. You know, uh, on there. Do you want to take DJT and then I'll talk about yeah, it? Yeah, sure. We can. Uh, I'll take that one right there. Um, yeah, DWAC uh, DWAC uh, first day of its uh, of, of its uh, changeover to DJ, uh, DJT long awaited merger finally coming through. And then you get a little bit of a continuation of what we had yesterday on, uh, on DWAC there. So a little strong push right off the open, comes in, holds on to VWAP. But take a look at this. I really like this. It happened in the pre-market, though. That's the a, that's a thing. Something i got to work on is getting involved in some of the action in the pre-market. Uh, when and if you are doing some volume and the price action is setting up, maybe have a little bit there. But... Uh, I will, uh, I will t try to improve on that point. But uh, pretty much sideways for the rest of the day there. Now, I don't think I have any trades on it. No, I didn't. Uh, I had trades on Reddit. But uh, yeah, no, D, uh, DJT, decent, uh, decent move there right off the open, but pretty much sideways for the rest of the day. What are your uh, thoughts on this one? Oh, Randy, like, what the hell? Are you trying to kill me over there? That, there like, that, I don't know if there was tons of cream. I don't even take cream in my coffee. That was, I almost spit that up everywhere. Um, all right, DJT here. <coughs> So we don't have any trades whatsoever in DJT today, which is kind of stupid, um, because I really feel like early, this break, and we were talking about this, breaking through 65, we put that on the sticky note, we put that um, in the normal uh, trade, trade plan, but unfortunately it hits about 925, I guess when those imbalances came through for the NASDAQ, creating a huge move to the upside there for DJT. So again, that was the trade there, I feel like. Then a pushback into VWAP. We always talk about that. We talk about this on IPO. Now this is not an IPO, but you could almost trade it like that today um, as, as if, you know, we did get a halt there um, one time when we did make that move back. That would have been hard. So 
that's what I was showing you, is that that would have been hard to sit there long into a halt, I feel like, anyways. Remember, I was like, oh, man, we could get the short. We didn't get it. Uh, but anyways, it bounces off VWAP, bounces, bounces, like it held, held until it didn't. Um, and then VWAP was pretty good. Underneath, underneath, break, and then it's held. So this has been, honestly... Like, if you could write a book about VWAP, I mean, it goes all the way back. Like, look at this, just, just the whole way. That's this blue line. You know, then it levels off, which is fine. You don't have to trade it around VWAP. You're waiting for actionable events. Um, get that move down. Get that retracement back. That's the short there on the pullback in. Boom, goes the dynamite. Then I could say you probably short it there and then lose when it breaks. And then you could play it to the long side. But again, a little bit of a tricky trade with DJT here, um, as a lot of people thought it was going to moon, which it did, and it has. It's just today, you know, a little, little tough. I mean, you're going to wait to see if 70 can hold. I, I say that it's been tough trading, but again, if you're long and you've been playing dips, you've been okay, except for one period right there. So um, you guys let me know in the chat. I'll, I'll keep my eye on you know, how, how it's been trading for a lot of you because I'm interested to hear that. I feel like it's been a little bit of a tough trade. Maybe I'll find out if uh, many traders behind us are trading it, but it's been more about Reddit. So we'll do that right now. Yeah, bang on, Sean. I saw that 63 dip that you had earlier. We all saw it. That was a hell of a trade on Reddit. Great move up today, again, for Reddit. Over 12%, well higher um, at its high. 74.90 high a day on Reddit. Yesterday, we had the introduction of options onto this after the IPO. There was about 90,000 contracts sold for call prices between 50 to 75. So the volume was there. The volume has continued to be there today on the day. We've done well over about 25 to 30 million shares of volume trading below the volume weighted average price right now though guys trying to hold 67 what's the look here uh thank you randy just hooked it up again right there so i have a funny story about reddit so you ready yeah. uh no so i forgot this order Oh, so, so we put this, so look at that. I mean, I was sitting here That's with Randy cute. in yeah, the yeah. midday. That was nice. Yeah, and I, and, it, and, and I was just like, he's like, oh, yeah, what's going on with Reddit? And I said, oh, not much. This is what we did on it, blah, blah, blah. And we were all really happy with it and yada, 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 as Elaine says. And then all of a sudden, so that was great. We took five bucks there. We were on top of the world. We're the best. Um, but the thing is, is that before this happened, I put an order to buy. And this is a pure rookie mistake. So obviously... Um, you don't leave orders pending. I even went on walks and everything. Like, so stupid. Thankfully, this was only 50 shares, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But the idea at the end of the day here was we wanted that break there at 71. Reddit really got going early. So the same as DJT had its best moments in the first couple hours or the first couple minutes of the day. So anyways, that broke through 71, and it was like, oh, okay, okay. And then I was sitting here, and I was managing the trade. I was here when it happened. Uh, Sharif was in this as well. Broke seven or broke seventy, broke seventy-one. Anyways, we're like, oh, let's just average down into it. I think by the end of it, we might have had a hundred shares, maybe in total, maybe a little bit less. Winds up breaking lower. We take like a buck and change hit. So that's like a monster fail. And then we tried it at VWAP here again, pretty pretty small because we're trying to catch this falling knife. Um, and then eventually we got out there again. So we'll almost squash all of that right here with just screwing around right here. So another example of throwing back some money on a wasted trade, but it's been another good one, man. Reddit options are kicking right now. I feel like we still wanna buy these same levels. Let's wait for a dip buy in Reddit. But again, stupid trading by me there today, uh, throwing a little, a little bit of money away by forgetting about an order. Yeah, I think, I think that, uh, that entry that you had in the, off that dip, that was uh, prime, as it kind of comes right back into that day low, and then wicks it once again, clearly that level being, uh, being a little bit significant on the day at least um, there. But uh, yeah, strong push off the open. I was watching this initial, uh, initial uh, push on, uh, on Reddit and I was like, all right, well, these 65s look nice. Waited a little too long, start slapping up uh, through some of those highs, pre-market high breaks, and then after our high breaks as well, after yesterday's crazy uh, move, which a lot of people are saying was uh, was potentially due to options being introduced uh, yesterday, so uh, maybe some uh, maybe some uh, options related price action, yeah. maybe I have no idea, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what it may be. Regardless, the price action off the open was absolutely solid. Um, we saw that. 
happen right here, kind of that drive took it through the 70 uh, and then pushes into that 75 and then just take, take it off. Once that momentum kind of leaves the, leaves the book, I'm like, all right, peace out, I'm done. That's my, uh, that's my one good trade for Reddit. Uh, maybe it wasn't the it wasn't the goodest trade, but it can definitely be much better uh, through that through that seventy and then getting out a little bit uh, nicer as well. Um, I think I could definitely have gotten out a little bit above that uh, seventy three mark as well. I just punched the bid, kind of panicked out, but I gotta have, I gotta structure my orders a little bit better to get that midpoint in right. So yeah, not uh, when it has like a two one a, what, one and a half point two point spread, those kind of orders might help out. We were actually talking about that, you and I were talking about getting the trades right so that eventually, once we see great setups, like that AMD setup that for some reason you saw and you weren't sure about that bottom. Oh, and then we're we'll like, talk about that we'll one. talk about that. But you were like, oh man, these are the trades like where you want to put on 5,000 shares yeah. or something. And I'm like, yeah, especially in this market, you can post almost any number of shares and get it. So I was telling Sean, I was like, I normally don't risk that much, but I saw the price action. I was like, no, I have to risk yeah, you're a like, little bit. A I have to spot. risk a little bit more than I, than I usually do. Five minutes later, that news comes out. Huh. But we'll talk about we'll it. We'll talk about that. All right, let's go because right next is all about the chip time and MU, man. Wow, Micron, Sharif, uh, really working these days. It is, Sean. It is. It's, uh, you know, it's marginally up on the day, two and a third percent, but that doesn't reflect what this stock has done lately. It has been one of, uh, uh, let's call it a spade a spade, one of the strongest moves in semi microchips <laughs> on the day. Today, it got the nod from uh, Mizuho, who upgraded the price target from 124 to 130 with a reiteration of its buy rating. Uh, the way it's traded, you know, it's been a little bit, uh, a little bit up, a little bit down, the high on the day, 122.46 Ram Ram. Uh, trading below the volume weighted average price right now. We'll keep eyes on this. What's the look for you guys on Micron? Oh, Micron, Micron, Micron. Nice. Yeah, I mean, a name that's never really on the radar. I remember writing this down, and I could probably find the sticky notes almost right here because it wasn't too long ago where Micron was $92, $93, $90, and we were like, we really liked some, I mean, look at this. On the daily chart, I mean, we really like these levels. I remember when we were breaking higher. If you come over to the chart, uh, there it is. Like, look at that. So we were talking about loving this 90 level. We had it written on here for a minute, and then earnings happened, and now it's gone. See you later. Uh, but yeah, anyways, nice movement there for uh, Micron today. So let's just analyze something. I mean, you're under VWAP. I'm, I'd hate to say this looks like a short, but to me, honestly, like, kind of looks like a short until we break this, no? I mean, that's 120 and a quarter. So if you think the market's gonna turn, I don't think I would pick Micron as the name to be like all excited about. But I mean, this is looking pretty good. Very much basing out right now. I would love if the market does fall in. I feel like this is a better trade, 119. We have 119 right down here off the open that held and it just held again. I mean, sure, we got down to 118.70, but to me, that's a pretty decent hold right there. So. Um, violent off the open, but Micron, congratulations if you hit this one, especially if you played continuation on earnings. I mean, um, you know, it's really had a nice extension here over, over its all-time highs and now breaking longer Micron. Uh, I know nothing about RAM, but I sure know that DRAM seems to be pretty profitable as Micron all the way to the upside. We saw Seagate today as well. STX was having a nice day there, OB. So yeah, I saw, um, I saw that. Uh, yeah, I think they got they got an upgrade as well from uh, who was it? JPM or MS or something? Uh, uh, was it Barclays? It was one of the big names. Yeah, sorry. What was that Mizuho on uh, Seagate for for Seagate for STX? It's all good. Okay, okay. Yeah. Derek they, telling they, us they, about they, Micron, which right. was upgraded today again. So okay. did you see anything there? Um, yeah, no, I I did play this uh, this name off the open. I kind of did pull it pull it up. As uh, it wasn't necessarily part of, uh, it wasn't necessarily on my radar to begin with, but when I pulled up the chart, I was like, okay, well, uh, you had a strong earnings day, you set, and then a couple days later, you step up. So we talked about that stair step, stair stepping kind of action happening, and then coming into the day today, you see that it holds quite nicely above some of these previous day levels there, and then uh, it actually breaks through previous day high. It doesn't really get too far uh, off of it, but uh, it was uh, a decent, uh, decent drive nonetheless. Maybe not as clean as, as the Tesla drive or some of the other ones, obviously, but uh, definitely a little bit, little bit uh, there 
even with the mess. So I did get stopped out on the initial one. So yeah, it was a little bit messy, but got involved right away when it reclaimed that previous kind of high there and then uh, pushes into that 122. But those 120s seem like those were, the, those were the money fills right there and that VWAP hold off the open as well. So a little bit of an upgrade, a little bit of a continuation happening off of earnings. Bit of a stair step as well. Let's see what Micron will do with some of these fresh highs. I have no idea, but right now holding underneath VWAP at 120. Ask and uh, she shall deliver. It is Morgan Stanley. Ah, uh, yes. MS for STX. STX upgrade. Okay, Sharif, uh, what's good over there on the desk? You feeling lonely or what? <laughs> yeah, usually I'm sitting with Brendo, uh, but yeah, I'm alone today, Sean. Uh, yeah, my seat is empty. <laughs> Uh, DKNG DraftKings, a hell of a day, and it's had a hell of the last 365 days, guys. Trading above the volume weighted average price right now, but below 49, up another three and a third percent. This one getting the nod from Azul, again, reiterating the buy rating and increasing the price target to $58. They like the jurisdiction expansion. They like the reduction in customer acquisition costs. They were spending hand over fist on advertising, on giving these promotional bets to lure people in. That's not the case anymore. And they took number one online gambling site away from FanDuel late last year with about 34% of the market share. As I said, up three and a quarter. What's the look here, guys? I was like, all right. First of all, what's up, Chef Joe? No, ain't, ain't nobody shorting a hundred Bitcoins, my guy. Uh, but okay. So just real quickly, man, I mean, we are on DraftKings as well. We liked the upgrade. We thought it was really great. We talked about a possible dip into 46.50. That had nowhere near uh, close today, but we were right on the way. We were right in the direction, but we were wrong on where we took it. We thought maybe a dip into VWAP would have been something, but look how choppy this was on the upside. We probably should have stayed away until we got some kind of a direction. And this is the thing, man. Okay, come on, TQs. Honestly, get down. Uh, NASDAQ, like we're triple levered short here in this damn market. Get down. We'll talk. I, I mean, I'll show you some levels I want to break. I think the NASDAQ could fall again. We nailed that TQ short yesterday. Let's see if we can get it again. I'm bidding right now to get something out, but okay. Um, anyways, the pressure obviously it was stopped here at the 200 period. I, I have no real other explanation. I mean, the pre-market, there was no volume. This isn't yesterday's high. I mean, it came into the pre-market levels, I guess, but ultimately we didn't stop till we got to the 200 period here. And then we just rode us the whole way. So I feel a little silly that I put these things down um, and then didn't mark it. But again, we were, it was right at 11 o'clock. It, it ultimately doesn't really matter. DraftKings continues to be strong. I think it's worth a look down here at 48 again if we hold it. But Good movement on DraftKings today. And I'm just, that's so crazy. We were bidding 36 here just, just to get uh, a dime again on a piece of it, like literally 5%. Um, and it did not break 36. Like this kind of an ETF wasn't going lower. I wonder if we're going to be wrong here on the NASDAQ. Um, you know, despite, so what I feel like is whenever I'm yelling at the screen to do something, it's not going to be a good trade. Mm -hmm. You know, you shouldn't have to try to will uh, the NASDAQ especially to go yeah. somewhere. <laughs> you know, yes. like maybe if I yell at a firm, maybe something might yeah. happen. But the yeah. NASDAQ maybe is not like, the DAC, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about right here. I just think that we are very close. Like we are 20 handles away from breaking this bottom. And then honestly, I don't see support I mean, until we talked about 18.5 just as a psychological level, but like, I'm just thinking if we can break like whatever this bottom is, 18.530, which we're getting close, but it could all, it's also support right now. You know, you can look at it both ways. This is just a 30 minute chart. I just see lower for the NASDAQ. Like, honestly, this is 18.480. Like, this is where I think we could bounce off of 18.5, which would be perfectly fine by me. But for right now, we're just sitting on this short that, um, doesn't really look like it wants to work. I mean, we've, we've, didn't, we've done well. We have done well uh, getting out, I feel like, where we did because these have been the bottoms. But this is that breaking level that I'm talking about. I mean, we can look at NVIDIA. I almost shorted that again right now at 950. Like, the, the, everything is getting close, man. Like, you take, look what happened there. Like, we took VWAP here. Boom, down um, $15, right? We bounced off VWAP there again. That's 950, down $12 to 938. Nice run up. If we, if we break VWAP again, and this is all ifs and buts, 
So, you know, you're more likely to hold it. I mean, NVIDIA dip buys have really been stronger than sell-offs. But we're red today in NVIDIA. What happens if we give it up and start to go back to the downside? We could always, because I'm short the, the NASDAQ, we could check out Apple. Apple's underneath, wants to go. Uh, Microsoft, so... Anyways, instead of fighting individual names, I mean, Microsoft's red, Apple, we just talked about it, like a lot of these names look at, looking like they want to go lower, and here I am fighting um, an up move in the triple Qs. So I don't know, guys. We're getting close to stopping out. I mean, anything above this 50, I'm not even, I don't even know if we want to hold this to view up, to be honest with you. All right, uh, let's go back to the desk, talk about, oh, we just did DraftKings. Oh, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Okay, you want to run an app? You want to... You guys let us know if we have to go back to Sharif. If not, all good. Okay, um, now let's just talk about that same position that we were just literally talking about. Um, I'm going to get out if we break like 50-55 here. I, I just, I don't even really want to test up here. We do have a position on, honestly. For me to lose like six or seven more cents, it's not, not something that I really want to do. And I, I mean, you guys can hold it if you want. I'm trying to play it off the 200 period, which is right here, right now. Give it a little bit of slippage and we'll deal with that in the mid 50s. But for right now, that's kind of the trade that I'm working with. I, I understand that this may not come through. I just told you what I was thinking. Um, it's going to suck if it doesn't hit. But, you know, I'm, I, I'm here to trade for a little bit and we're here to put on some risk. So let's ride. Uh, all right, arm. Um, Oh boy, oh boy! It actually bounced a little bit there, didn't it? Yeah, but I was looking for that reversion yeah, go to ahead, potentially go come ahead. in. But you talk about it because I'm going to have a harder time. I don't, I don't, back here. Yeah, I don't think I don't think uh, I wanted to. I wanted to take the take a potential reversion. I was like, whoa, what's going on? We were in a well, we we're at the floor meeting when this kind of happened, right? Uh, or uh, around one? But it seems it seems like it seems like no, no, no. That's perfectly fine. But like no one could have expected this this kind of move there. But that's absolutely wild how it kind of broke down. I was watching that 140 break. I think uh, I think uh, Sharif was uh, was sitting there. I was just like, oh, take a look at arm, and it broke through that 140 at that point. But oh boy, I did not expect it oh. to get all the way down to 126s, 91, 126, 91. So looking left, is that a level? Whoa. I don't know right now, but uh, potential reversion to VWAP maybe. But I think I'm kind of missing the chance there take a look at that high volume candle that defines the low a little bit of capitulatory action right what there. was that word <laughs> no we've said that before no no we have not capitulatory yeah capitulatory capitulating it's I like understand the, the word but i'm not sure we've ever used it before I, I think I have. Ramin, anybody? You guys heard All right, that? Well, well capitulatory action no, so happening that. with that with that kind of uh, kind of uh, uh, volume there. Volume, great indicator. I like volume as a great indicator. word. One of my one of my top uh, indicators, indeed, for the volume. Look at that expanding volume going into the flush, and then that strong volume, and then we just go, we just fall off. Light, nice light little bid going back. Potentially, uh, let's see if we can potentially go back into that VWAP area, maybe a 50% retracement from when these uh, when the sell kind of comes in as well. Um, you know what? I'm just going to take it off the 40 break. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's see from 40. That's about 13, uh, 13 points. So what's half of 13? Half of 13. I mean, my net is Hold getting on. capitulated gotta, to the wrong way here. I got to put this on one second. Oh, come on. Like, <laughs> well, your, net is, your net is capitulating? My net is capitulating uh, the other way. Well, I guess it could be either way. Right here. Um, so six and a half points, roughly, is what I'm looking for. 33 half. Are you long arm right now? Oh, you're no, no, no. For, for a potential 50% rever reversion, right? Six and a half right there. So 133 would be that 50% retrace, uh, retracement into uh, going into VWAP as well. It's not even at VWAP. That's what I wanted to measure is VWAP 50% away in terms of a reversion uh, off of those lows. But uh, I guess it's a little bit higher, but I don't know. Um, I think I might be a little late there, but I'll let it consolidate, see what happens. What were you saying about your PL capitulating? It's going, uh, the NASDAQ's just starting to take out, basically, make this move higher. So we're, we're going to be wrong on this one, which is, like I told you, it's going to suck at the end of the day here. Uh, but that's, I mean, we, we worked through the trade. We had gotten some out. You know, we'll be, we'll be down on it after all, but it's not, it's not that much. We're just giving back what we made plus a little bit more on top. You know what I mean? Like uh, they're skimming the NASDAQ, skimming a little bit off the top here. Uh, so whatever, we're short at 47. Like even if we did have thousands of shares, which we don't, 
Um, that that would be only ten cents worth of a hit, anyways. But still, not a hit we're, we're we're happy with. Damn it! Well, we work through it. You know, we're not we're not always going to make that. And you and I had talked about that earlier too, right? Is that is is that have as much confidence in your plays as as, as you can. If the play is there, yeah, I, I feel like you got it. You got to make it. I mean, I'm here literally every day. Yeah. Um, so it's like, fool me once, fine. It's when they fool me 10 times in a row, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but for right now, you know, I, I like this. I've worked through it here and I'm working through my, I'm in my feelings now. Is that good to mean? Like we're in our feelings, like I'm working through it right now. Like yeah. got to play a little Drake in the action here. You Ro know uh, running through the six with your woes? Yeah. Oh, it, with big time woes, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. God's plan. Yes. by the way, is to see whatever happens with TQQ right now. Are you on... Um, you know what's a good song that I really like from... Uh, I think, is it... I think it's DJ Khaled. It's Grease. I like the... Oh, yes, the, yes, the, yes, the melody, yes, yes. The melody in the song. Yep, yep. I like that one, too. Nice. Uh, is it called Grease, though? Yeah, I mean yeah, Something like that. I, I love it. Is, uh, okay, cool. here we go. TQQ is trying to capitulate bounce. the other way right now, hopefully to the downside now. So let's see what happens. Um, we're flat right now. You guys could all get out of that right now. I like... Um, uh, I'm not a doctor, I'm a pop star. I think it's called pop star, actually. Uh, yeah, it's called Grease. DJ Khaled. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I, I definitely, I'm right definitely well aware of the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good, good song. tune. Yeah, good tune. tune. Yeah. We do have good some tunes. negativity uh, in the hip hop era. Maybe we won't talk about that. Somebody's house got raided last night. Somebody with the same first name as myself, Sean P. Diddy Combs, last night. I mean, a lot of people have been talking about that guy for a minute. All right, uh, here Maybe we go. going to say Sean Paul. Sean Paul? Or um, something else I did <laughs> I'm not. Please don't start with me. Uh, okay. Um, okay. I mean, we're not, we're not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not about to go in some reggae tone or anything here live on the show. I mean, I'm literally We saved that for the after hours, right? Yeah. That's this, when the disco ball kind of comes down from the, the ceiling. Podcast. You know, we're literally <laughs> building we're a disco a room bell for that. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, all right. So Propriet let's go. Proprietary stuff. Yes, very, very important <laughs> stuff here that we continue to talk about. Okay, remember, we're, get, we're, we're about to get close, closed out of this one. We just saw the TQs go right back to flat, almost to flat for us. You could have got a 48 fill for sure. Um, and there it goes back up to the upside. So we're just giving this one tight, tight. Like we just talked about that. If we're going to be wrong, we're going to be wrong. Then it looks like the market tried to go uh, back in a little bit there. And just, this is not the right, it's 230. So I'm just talking about a trade that I have on, not one that I'm trying to marry here. So um, let's just wait on that one and see if that's good to go. Uh, Bitcoin again, wow, nice move today, 70 grand. Let's see what Coinbase is trying to do today. Up to 274 again. Like, what is the 52-week high exactly on this? Did we just make it today? Or what was that high there today? Two, is that today? I guess it must be. 287? Uh, yeah. Okay, wow. Bit of um, range, yeah. That's, all right, okay, so that looks like a little fugues because I think that was just in the pre-market oh, up there yeah. on some of those dark pools, but either way, we were definitely in this area, man, 284, 285, and that would be good enough for all ATH right there. So nice little flush down to begin with there on Coinbase. I mean, I'm always looking for the short in this. You guys know that we've nailed some bangers off 280 the last couple times we've looked at this level, and there it is again today. So we missed that today, 280 for Coinbase, probably something to look at. Again, if, if you're trading Bitcoin, I, I, I actually was wondering about this. If you are a Bitcoin bull right now, mm -hmm. just buy MSTR. It, it, there's nothing, this is a levered Bitcoin product. That's, I mean, that's all that it is. They, they give share offerings and then they use that money that they pay three, 4% on and they just, are very, very clear what they're doing with it. They're going in there and buying, first of all, the TQs just went back again to flat. They're putting money into, the, and into Bitcoin and, and, and having no problem. That's what they're doing. So as Bitcoin continues to go up, they're just levered up on other people's money and just buying Bitcoin. Like if Bitcoin falls, this, this is a house of cards and will really start to come down as either traders start to redeem on um, you know, the, the, the liquidity here on the equity side of things, because why not get your money out now instead of worrying about what's going to happen with the price of Bitcoin? So I, I'm a little bit nervous about this, and I do think that it is potentially a house of cards, 
But again, I mean, crypto has been really holding up well. And I choose you, Pikachu, and iBit. So I've been buying this on dips, and I, whenever I see Bitcoin moving around, I'll go over to this ETF. I feel like that's a little bit of a smoother, uh, smoother Michael Saylor than trading MSTR, um, but we'll, we'll wait to see what happens on that. So I'm looking right now for iBit, a little bit of a move down. We already talked about Coinbase, so without any further ado, let's go over and take a look at the old altcoins. How dare we call them anything other than altcoins. Oh, uh, Do Doge is up there. That's how I was going to look. Let's go find Yo. out what's going on with Doge. Wow, Dogecoin again, man, right? Where is it at? Up to 18 almost. In the money. Let's 18 go. cents. All right, my guy over here is in the money, and that's always <laughs> a good sign uh, as well. If you're finally in the money on Bitcoin, potentially you bought too high. Uh, so that's at 71,000 right now. Uh, Where's so XRP, XRP at? Uh, XRP had some problems lately. Yeah, still not in the uh, money. But still Damn. at 63 cents there. <laughs> Our Cardano's been... Uh, Shiba Inu right now at 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 with a three first, so that's nice. Um, yeah, but other than that, today in the last 24 hours, really there hasn't been too much. I mean, it's been Shiba Inu. Um, other than that, not much else popping in the last 24 hours. So just a little um, quick top look. It's never a good sign when I'm on twice, but a quick top look there for crypto. What are, what are your thoughts on, I, I've heard that... Uh, long Google, I like that. MSTR, yeah, I got long Google a little bit uh, a little bit earlier there. I did try the short, stopped out, well, I didn't really stop out, punched out a little too, uh, a little too early, a little too hastily. But uh, yeah, it does manage to come all the way back down into VWAP there. But uh, no, the question was, um, I've heard that uh, uh, there's, a, there's a potential... Um, trade and it has something to do with uh, MSTR, where like they they hold Bitcoin, right? That's their business. So they're, apparently their market cap is like is like double that of their holdings. So there are traders who are long Bitcoin and short MSTR as a hedge. Yeah, it gives it what falls are, out. Yeah, what are what are your opinions on that? Bad idea. Why is that? Well, because I just, I mean, it depends. If Bitcoin starts to rip, I don't think you're going to make as much money on your Bitcoin long as you'll use, as you'll lose with the MSTR short. Mm. That's the whole point, it's levered. Yeah. So I think it's good for a hedge if you are um, negative on Bitcoin, because I agree with, I agree with anybody that, that, that looks to be short MSTR if they really do feel that there's a top here for BTC. But mm. um, the way I understand, I mean, you guys tell me the way, I, the way and this would be a good thing to go to Reddit for. Yeah, forum, maybe, yeah. like MSTR. There's probably micro strategy forums yeah, out there right now. There's definitely people talking about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'd, I'd like to hear what they're doing uh, right now, uh, what they think about that. So we'll do that right now. All right, what's up, people in the chat? Uh, I always like to see this. It says Jono or Jono here. Sean, you've made me some nice money. I like that. Trying to return the favor. All right, um, I'm here for that. So let's see if there's any ideas here in the chat. So people want to look at Rumble and Donut. I mean, we have that new deal there um, with uh, McDonald's. So we can definitely look at Donut. Uh, Palantir back to the day's high as well. Uh, MicroStrategy owns a premium. That is all the price to pay at Bitcoin. So we'll go over some of that as well um, as we look to see that whole Where relationship. Is, so um, let's go back over Reddit now up to $68 again. Tesla bouncing around $179. Um, Reddit, whenever it gets exciting in the back, um, yeah, I'm always, I'm always thinking, like, what's moving uh, right That now? one of these things is moving. <laughs> so DJ yes, okay, there it okay. is right Thank now. Thank you, Yanni. Let's go. Yeah, uh, Yanni having a banger day. Congrats on that. Yes, Look at that sir. move, man. $76, almost getting back to highs. There it goes, man. DJT. And we talked about holding the 200 in VWAP. So any sort of a dip down into 69 and 70 looks like that might be a primo spot uh, for anybody looking to pick something up. There's the flush again. Look at that flush into 70 and then right back up. This is what a live level two looks like. It's a $1 spread there Yo. at times. So look out. You might see that there's action in here. These are not 100 levels. So you have a one share lot is what's up here. Oh, it's so, getting whacked. Yeah, it's getting de-whacked. I was, was going to say it's getting uh, de-whacked, but yeah. today it's getting DJT whacked <laughs> yeah. uh, to the downside right now. As there it goes, look Dang. at this drop. So Ooh, we may halt. He's selling. Uh, this is haltable now, right? Because oh, yeah. you're now down. It should halt, actually. 
So the one complaint that I've had is to try to get halt bands on here. I really feel oh, like we, we should get that. those um, down to sixty-eight, seventy dollars. Uh, we'll see what does happen here with DJT. Here it goes. It's falling and throwing up all over itself right now. Nice move down for DJT. And look, by the way, we asked this question the other day: Are you in this name for the long haul, or in, are you in it for to trade? Um, two thirds was the trade, one was a hold. Well, first of all, two thirds was it was just hold or not, um, and most of them were not. So we'll have to watch out here. What was the percent for those who are in it for the hype? Right, I think or that, that is a little bit that for the hold. Thirty percent, the hold. Okay, yeah, hold. Okay, because okay. we said for one year. And look, I don't think this stock is done. I mean, you're going to have obviously it's not done. You're going to have a presidential race that's literally just heating up, right? I mean, yeah, we're just through sure. primaries right moves. now, so I feel like there is some reason. And by the way, hit that hallelujah because right now we have not done anything about it. Actually, don't hit it. It's going to be a jinx. Damn it! It's my bad. It's my bad. What's happening? Oh, man. We have no Frank today. All right. Well, All right. we're short. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. You know, this guy, yeah, he, 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 that yeah, he always brings in the bid, right? Or so I've heard. What I'm talking about right now is spin it for temporary <laughs> spinning of said money. Uh, we were going to get out. So we just took a 41 fill. There it is again. We'll take a 40 fill. Remember, our stop on this, we were short 47. Our stop was 55. That's eight or seven, nine, 10, something like that, pennies. So we'll take a little bit out there. We're out of an amazing 20%. We were just sitting there hoping to get them. So now let's wait for that move down. If we're going to be right about this, let's just be right about it. Um, you know, right now, all we would wind up doing is give back everything we've made, which sounds bad, but as a trader, I, you know, I'm comfortable with that on this position. We got to try something. Let's see what happens here. Finally, a move down. What's up, Sharif? Johnson & Johnson, Sean. Not a big day trading name, but an acquisition coming in here on the wire. Looking to acquire Shockwave Medical. The market not liking that and precipitating a big down move here. J&J &J down on an acquisition headline. Okay. Hey, what's up? I like that little, um, what do you call that? Where you can sort of see... The transparent, like see through. Adira, yeah, yeah. you want to come over? All right. Yeah. Um, okay. So just real quick, we did cover some of that. Um, we're only short, so we're short Amazon, and we're short the TQs. Um, and I still have to look. Okay, Amazon with a nice little move down here. Um, let's just cover a bit of Amazon because of, of the level that we're at. We'll put a bit at 80 there. I was actually waiting at 179.30. Um, we just missed that fill. Like we were waiting down here at 179.30 where we'd already gotten filled. We do have a nice little dip down in into VWAP, into the 50 period moving average, and we'll take an 80 fill right there for 50 cents. That's a 50 cent winner. Okay, come on TQs, honestly, let's go. Can we get a little bit of a move down here in this name? I'm bidding again that 36. This is that evil 36 level that didn't fill the first time it was down here. So you know what, ha ha, I'm gonna switch and go to 38 and sacrifice two cents just to get the fill so I can be within that mental you talk about. Oh yeah. You know. Gotta do everything to preserve right. and protect the mental. Yeah, we're having a little yeah. bit of a better time now that that fell back in a little bit there. So, um, all right, any other names uh, you wanna um, get? I'm actually I'm, gonna go get a bottle of water. Yeah, no good? worries, I'm, I'm okay, yeah, I'll thank be back you. in one minute. Um, uh, so, Google, I, uh, I did get a little long there. Initially, as you guys know, we are coming back in, so I do have to respect this little bit of uh, action that we're getting here right there, boom, boom. So uh, yeah, coming back into, it's building into VWAP right there. It was quite strong right off the open, as you can see. A little bit of continuation through that 150 into 152. And then, uh, yeah, let's see. VWAP held quite nicely, and then we kind of uh, com coming back in, but this seems like the trend right now. We did get start selling off after the morning session around 12 o'clock. We've only been kind of uh, trending to the downside, but all into VWAP as well, right? So I don't know if I, I don't think I have the best price right now um, in terms of where I'm at on the chart, but I think I'm more than willing to kind of uh, get out and reassess What's going on, Sharif? Uh, reassess, uh, <laughs> reassess um, how uh, I totally lost my train of thought. Thanks, Sharif. Um, no worries. Uh, yeah, uh, so something about Google, something about coming back in, downtrend, VWAP, Confluence, jumbled. All right, cool. Um, coming back in. So yeah, I do have to respect that trend there. If it's going to come back in, it's pretty much at my break-even price oh, did as, of, as of right now. No, no, it's all yeah, good. Yeah, he came in and sat down. He punched into like 20 different questions. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? 
<laughs> Sorry, bro, I couldn't have my hand. Oh, I better say, um, no, Sharif did not touch any of my keys because, you know, we get compliance all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he didn't. You know, talking. He, went like, he was like, you know, he was like yo, 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 be careful what you say. Like, sometimes I say, I'll say, we are short. Yeah. No, but I'm serious. This is a problem. I say that as well, but I'm talking to myself. I know. I'm a little... Uh, and I always say the lawyer, self, you know? Yeah. Uh, but the thing about it is, 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 like, you have to be careful because... And we should say this. We make independent trades. I mean, earlier today, you were long Amazon. I was short Amazon. Congratulations on that, by the way. You won again. Uh, but <laughs> we just, I'm just taking the we trade just took some money on Amazon. So, yeah, it's okay. I'm just, I'm just playing See, around. I, you had some solid trades, too, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Like, not some. I think you... Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> no, I, that came out the wrong what way. Do you mean? What, come, I mean, come on, man. I thought, I thought we were friends <laughs> over here. Randy, where's no, Randy? No, I said you had some solid trades okay. as well. But, like, I didn't mean it like, you know, yeah, yeah, you were all right, too. No, I did not mean it like that at all. I'm no, sorry no, it's if all it came good. out I mean, that I, way. I mean, I, I think but, I had a hell of a trade on no, right now. What I mean to say is, like, you had solid trades. I have a lot to learn from. Like, look at that churn. I keep talking about that. And it's like you, you had the same style on, on Intel as well yesterday. So that churning of a core. I feel like know? now you're just trying to, like, No, no, you know, that's what I mean. That's again. what I mean. If I say something solid, it's, you know, it's solid. Chad wants me to look at Disney. Uh, me and Obi are just playing around, yeah. I mean, look, what, <laughs> what I was getting at is, is that um, we do make independent decisions. Yes. So I, you have to say yeah, yeah. that that's why we always say, like, trade your traders, own playbook. Trade your style. That's why trade we have your the own midday playbook. show to sort of show you guys different styles and different ideas. If Disney's over 120, then oh, yeah, baby. That's what we're talking about. Uh, thank you for reminding me because I did not get out of any of these uh, at lunchtime again. I actually phoned my mother. We made... Um, and shout out to Ramin. She was like, say what's up to my mom. So shout out to my mother from Ramin. Um, but uh, Easter plans. You got any Easter plans? No, so we'll, we'll, we'll just chill out. I didn't, I didn't know this Friday was a holiday. Until, it's not a holiday until, for everybody, but until we get Brando. the extended weekend. Yeah. So True. Uh, for those of you that do celebrate or those of you that don't, we try to go to see like my parents... You know, it only really just happens on the weekends. We've been sort of blessed recently that they've been able to come to a lot of the hockey games that my kids, it's just, it's nice. worked out. Yeah. So we're running into them more often because of that, but we definitely like to get together. And then hopefully Baxter's going to be coming from Waterloo. Okay. So I'm making those plans. But you know what else I tried to slip in there? What? Was, oh yeah, you know, the kids don't go to school Monday, so sleep over. Mm. You know, we go over there for dinner. We talked about sleeping over at grandparents' houses, and I got shit on, I got crapped on yeah. for that <laughs> idea for some reason, although I think that's a great idea. I love sleeping over at my grandparents when I was younger. You know, they yeah. treat you to whatever the heck you want. You said you, know? you, you, you come back, uh, like... Five, ten pounds heavier because yeah, you get all like, that good food. Yeah. Like my grandfather like, used to sneak me in these little chocolates, yeah, like yeah. me and my brother. It was like 10 o'clock at night. It's not even like it was late. But anyways, okay, I, I digress. <laughs> I was talking to them about grabbing. By the way, I filled up my water, didn't even take a sip. Um, but Do you want to take You can take a sip. Well, Yeah, when I'm, when I'm over here, I just never stop really. But um, the point was is that I tried to get them to sleep over that extra night. Right. On that note, it's hydration nation time. Do it. I've heard you don't cheers water. Uh, wow, I'm okay. Cheers. Damn, we're gonna we're changing oh, the right. luck around. Damn. Mm. Sean's like I define my own luck. Yeah, we're not going to do this. <laughs> uh, oh, James Dell's kid had four goals this weekend. Holla! What is good one? Soccer. Oh, nice. Yeah, the next Messi, apparently, in the building. Okay, um, all right, so thank you for the note here on Disney. I mean, again, what, what a move. I feel like Adara, we missed something. Check news at 140 here for DIS. I mean, um, straight to the, look at this. <laughs> I mean, straight upside, man, right into these highs. And the reason why I'm feeling like the chat was yelling at me, I am well, um, well into this name, man. Uh, I... Again, on the move down, I just didn't think structurally anything was wrong with the company. Now, I might get hit here on chat. What else is new? Like, there was that whole go woke, go broke whole thing. And everybody knows about that here on the chat. So um, everyone's opinion is their own. But, you know, that's not... Numbers don't lie. Price, yes. Price don't lie. Yeah, exactly. Or price Neither does ball don't lie as well in the NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> there, there are... The thing about it is, is that... At some point, you zoom out enough and you find some levels. We were pretty lucky to find 80 bucks. And 80 bucks, and if I zoom out even more, 
I'm not sure how far we'll go back down. We should be here. Okay, here's 2021. So we should be able to see some of those bottoms again. We had COVID lows here that came through, right? Obviously, we had a monster move up during COVID. You're going to see that. Then a fall back down in when nobody was traveling, so on and so forth. So honestly, my whole thing was, if you've released direct-to-consumer, which was up here, and I remember getting out of my first Disney's position here, we did not reload it until into here, into 100, into 90, then again down here near 80. So we believed in it, and I just took a macro view. And it was just like, if we were down here at 80 bucks, basically, when the whole market was getting cranked and COVID was a huge problem, and you can even go back here, this is the move up. So this is, the COVID bottoms are in the 2020s, but right into there, 80 bucks. So that's the bottom when the whole world was shut down. Then we came back, made it again, made it again. So this last time, let's go. Um, and we were able to take that and it was well done. Uh, Disney to the upside on again, confidence in Bob Iger. The board doesn't really know what they want to do anymore. Thank you, Nelson Peltz. Getting the value out of Disney. And oh, damn, here we go, baby. Uh, it's a nice push down. We just get to 30, Phil. So again, if you're with me on this one, let's throw it up. It might not look like diamond hands, but remember what we said. We were short at 47s. Our out was a break of 55. Slippage on this is nothing. I think we would have got 56s or 57s. So that's 10 cents worth of a hit. We just took out 18 cents, Randy, with 10 cents worth of risk. So I'm, I'm not the greatest at math here. What? And by the way, we're going to have a special guest. We're going to have Randy is coming to, um, he's going to. Where's that word of the day button? There it is. Hit it. Take the mic. What was the word of the day? Fertility. Ah. Fertility. Uh, fertility. And I forget what it was in reference to, but it yeah. was in reference to a stock. It was, it was, yeah, obviously it was a Dara. Like in my ear, they're like, it was a Dara. Who else? Tesla with fertility. Okay, so that's, I, don't, I, I thought it would have been Miss Lily or something. That's what she's always referencing. Anyways, thanks, I, I missed out on the, uh, on the joke. We all I, missed out on it. Yeah, yeah. You, I, it's, it's, one, it's one of those that you had to be there, I guess. I believe that. Yeah, 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 I think that's so, the case. Shout out right? to Randy. And um, we're going to give you... The last hour off on Thursday. Is that good for you? Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. I just thought if you want to go back there, hang out with the boys, you're welcome to stay here, man. I don't, honestly. Oh, I'm, I, I, probably... I, I would rather be trading. Okay, good. So that's fine. So on fr well, I mean, we'll hang out with the boys right after four. Oh, Tesla is 30, 30, 30, 45. That was, that's what was being said. There. After okay. some reviews. Okay. Um, all right. So, yeah, it is the gift that keeps on giving, now, those Tesla longs, it seems like sometimes. Uh, let's go check in Tesla right now. So we just got some more out there down there. Let's put another bid here at 36 because, again, we could still wind up losing on this TQ trade. I mean, we are out now of about 35%, so not even – like, again, I'm, I'm thinking we, we're going lower. I mean, we kept on getting out at the same levels here. We did up these into 35s there. And then that bid is literally 30. So that was the fill there. Uh, we, I do have another bid. I thought so. Yes, I do at 23. Um, and so we'll wait. We'll take a 36 fill if we can get it again, roughly at those same levels. And then we'll wait to see if we do get a move down here. Um, on the TQ. So there it is. Oh, we just missed that 36 there. All right. Uh, check out Rivian. All right. So let's okay. go back over and look at Rivian. Um, all right. So I like Tesla better than Rivian right here. I just feel that there's going to have to be some developments that are more positive than what we've heard. I mean, this was the day right here when RJ just, uh, no, is this a daily chart? Yeah, right there. Um, shuffled out the R3 there, the R2. Bad. Uh, was good, but that was the end of it, all the way to the downside there. So its best day was that rollout day. I like the truck. I like everything about it. But until they can deliver, um, it's a no-go for me. We've got a small position at 11.25, which is doing a hell of a lot better than this position. So my Fisker trade is now. Wow. That thing's going to sub, uh, sub pennies. Can you go minus? Like, can we go, like, can this be like oil? Is it like oil? Yeah, I was just yeah. going to say, is it oil? Where someone, you I start trading pay. and someone pays you. To yeah. <laughs> so like my trading account, like for yeah, Webull or whatever, is going to be like, yeah, Sean, you now owe us money to get this out of your account? Maybe that's what's going to yeah. happen. Uh, all right, Adara, what up? This part of the show brought to you by IG. Got opinions on central bankers, geopolitics, and economic data? Apply your macro views with a Forex account at IG. Currencies like Euro and USD can require as little as 2% margin rates and offer $0 commission trading using your Forex account at IG. 
For a limited time, traders can open fund and trade with IG up for up to $10,000 in funding bonuses. Terms and conditions apply. All right, thank, thank you, Adara. Adara, for that one. Uh, Let's see what we got going on here. T Money likes Intel. Intel. I've, why don't you go ahead? Yeah, and, you've been you've been you've been twi talking uh, quite 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 much there. I think uh, you can. I'll, I will give you uh, I'll give you some rest there. Um, yeah, so uh, I am in Google L here, but uh, I think what was it Intel? Okay, yeah. So take a look at Google. Google is kind of just holding holding up here. Let's see if we can kind of uh, how how far some of this uh, some of this bounce goes. It has been a little bit of a bid since yesterday's kind of quadunk to the downside. Nice little pickup, V shape. How many times have we seen this? Or how many times have I seen this? This is what I mean. Sometimes I say we, but I'm just talking to myself. Multiple personalities, maybe I don't know. Anyways, uh, interesting look right there. Higher, uh, higher low. Uh, yeah, higher lows. Not necessarily higher highs just yet, but uh, yeah, higher lows for sure. Kind of strong. Look at that strong selling. Gets picked right back up. Gets picked up. Gets picked up once again. Nice little continuation there. Um, I'm interested to see how Google L will close the week off uh, this week. And uh, look at this previous week high. Is that previous week high? Yes, sir, it is. Previous week high in and around that 152. We did clip that point uh, in, off, off of this strength here today. Will we get there today? Who knows? But uh, maybe, maybe by the end of the week, we can make some oh. fresh highs. But uh, people were talking about that arm. People were saying that flag is coming in. But yeah, this is what I didn't want to necessarily get involved with, right? If I'm getting in here, it's still chopping around. It's a point and a half. It can take you can take those scalps off. I liked the trade much better down here, but I wasn't in it for that. But look at that strong volume, and then the full volume just falls off, and we start to get catch a nice little light bid back to the upside there. Where will she go? I have no idea. But arm definitely. Um, Definitely making some serious moves today. Is it, I was like, is is SoftBank selling? Like, who? What's what's up with that sell sell off? That sell off came in quite aggressively. What's going on over there? But yeah, let's take a quick look at Intel. We know we were trading this name yesterday, uh, and it was just chopping and churning around that 42, and it's just using that 42 as a core here. I'm sure if I put up a put a put a, put a volume profile on this day, it's good that 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 uh, point of control is going to show up in and around right here. View ops around there as well. But uh, that 42 kind of holding as of right now, so I don't necessarily want to get involved. We'll look at that uh, range, uh, range, um, not not uh, not expansion. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm blanking out here. Uh, compression, Sorry. compression, range compression. What's the word? I don't know. But anyways, it's, uh, it's consolidating. The, yeah, it's consolidating. The range is the range is getting smaller and smaller. Yep. It's not expansive. But that, that's what I'm trying to th think of the opposite word to range Could expansion. Capitulate from those levels. Because it's tightening up, you could get a coiling action. Yeah, you could you could get that. You could get so that, is uh, that. Intel. Intel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, that forty two. It's still it's still sixteen. Like the range has been twenty oh. pennies, twenty thirty pennies on each side off that forty two on Intel. So maybe yeah, maybe some uh, accumulation, maybe some consolidation on a, on a larger time frame happening there in and around that forty two. Uh, let's see what you guys are talking about. Uh, Daniel Finnegan talking about Rum Long. I know Rum. People have been watching this name rumble again in sympathy with that uh, DJT uh, move there. Wow. Talk about a trend there, Sean. This is straight to the upside, uh, up and to the right, as Sharif likes to say. And this is trending quite strongly, quite well. Opened up where? Around that uh, 560 mark with a high of nine. And uh, how much volume has this thing been doing? I think, is it one of the volume leaders on the day? Uh, no, definitely not. I don't think so. Uh, there, let's do a quick check. There, yeah, Tesla, Tesla, one of the volume leaders on the day. Neo, Tilray, uh, Miso, CGC as well. Let's take a quick look at what the um, what the what the uh, marijuana names are doing here. Cannabis names are doing uh, on the hourly. They had some strength last week. I remember that. Yeah, going into the end of the week. This was on Friday. I was not here on Friday. Friday or Thursday. Yeah, I guess Friday. I guess Thursday. Uh, it had some strength there. Or CGC is what I'm thinking of. CGC had that Friday strength. Boom! Right there on that uh, on that news. Got that continuation happening today uh, as well. Not really continuation. I mean, like a, like a. Bid showing up off this uh, off this six uh, dollar level strength off of the open on canopy growth. I think Tilray as well, right? Tilray's up there. TLRY. 
Um, Tilray's been making some moves as well. How much volume is this stuff doing? Is it doing any outlier kind of stuff? Yeah, average vol average 30 day volume is 25 on this one, doing 63. So doing about uh, roughly probably about two R vol. Yeah, there it is right there. So doing averaging roughly under two R vol for most of the day on Tilray. Let's see what CGC has it at. Yeah, just in and around two as well. Let's, let's check out MSOS real quick as well. Okay, so MSOS obviously not as much. It is the ETF. But yeah, we names kind of moving around. Uh, definitely um, in uh, in play. Not too much ARV, although have you guys been trading uh, some of those names? Let us know in the chat. But uh, yeah, opportunity galore in this market. There goes, uh, there goes Google kind of pushing up there. I was looking for a potential place to add. It didn't necessarily get back, get more in on this uh, kind of pullback there. But as the market chops up uh, in and around some of these lows, again, we haven't really gone too far off of some of these morning prices. Yeah, it's ranged. It's sold off of, oh, it's sold off of that 18.6. But we're kind of chopping around this for the past couple of hours there. Look at that. Since about uh, 12 o'clock, we've been chopping around some of the some of this base here so arm kind of holding that 132 as well nvidia holding below vwap let's take a quick look alphabet we're in that one holding above vwap uh softy softy a little sideways as well but a little bit of a downtrend pre-market highs opening range highs and then midday kind of high as well around 12 o'clock all consecutively lower and now below vwap and the spider uh, my friend Spider over here uh, uh, coming back into yesterday's high still hasn't necessarily broken uh, below that 520 there, Sean. Um, but yesterday's high is being around uh, just underneath that 521. So we're chopping around in that area as of right now. On the Spider, um, Bitcoin still kind of uh, holding that 70 thou, uh, 70 thou mark. It hasn't really gone too far. Arm is definitely one of interest for me. If this move is going to continue in the next coming days, I definitely want to be interested. If we're going to revert in the next coming days, I definitely want to be interested. But this is very, very uh, peculiar uh, action, I think. Um, I was looking at, the, at it at that 140 breakdown. The question is, it, uh, did we find some news on Arm on, that, on this, on this sell-off? Well, I came back and you told me that... Uh, I, couldn't they, find, I couldn't find it. I guess you were just joking. I thought that um, you were mentioning... No, I was like, oh, is SoftBank selling? I made, yeah, I made a joke. I'm like, they're finally selling. I don't know. That's a reasonable <laughs> thing to expect. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, their Very lockout news. period is done, right? We have our first guest coming on the podcast. Um, we wanted to bring somebody, you know, that has trading experience... So, I mean, so, some of you may know here, uh, Kunal Desai. Oh, no way. Yeah, from Bulls on Wall Street here coming through. Um, lots of podcasts, lots of stuff on YouTube, all that kind of stuff. So Bulls on Wall Street, uh, we're going to have live uh, on the podcast. You guys won't be able to see it live, but you'll be able to watch it. So that should be a lot of fun, just back and forth, kind of stuff like that. So we are super, super excited. So uh, put those ones up in the yeah, chat. That's man. awesome. I mean, I've seen some of his stuff. Yeah. Solid, yeah, yeah, solid yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, like almost it. has as much followers. No, we're at the same. We're both at 47,000. So we'll scratch each other's back there and have Kunal on. And I think it'll be a great opportunity um, to get more insights and all of that as we get uh, the notes ready to rock and roll. And we're excited for that. So um, there it is, man. Um, you know, put that in the chat there. We talked about getting some more guests and just to give a little more color. You know, uh, Brendan and I, we go back and forth and have a great time. And it's going to be even more fun now as we level up. Um, and get more and more interesting traders for everybody there. The chat seems to like that one. So, yeah, good, man. Thanks a lot uh, for continuing to support the show. And there it goes again. We'll find out what's up with that. Uh, we're, we're filming it tomorrow night. Oh, so, okay. um, And then we'll drop the podcast, I guess, first thing Saturday morning, and it should be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. We're really excited about it. Uh, no market recap show tomorrow night. So join me tonight as we'll go over all the stocks that are reporting. Do we have the earnings board? Sure. Okay, we'll GME get that in a minute. There ain't, there, ain't, there ain't too much on there other than GME. Yeah. Uh, but we'll have a look there when it's ready. Um, okay, so there's another pullback, guys. Honestly, it's now the hour of power. Of power. Okay, Ramin, let's go to the earnings board and see what's up. Uh, all right, so there we go. We got GameStop. Ooh. 
All right, anything what? else to see on there? Sintas, um, uh, I mean, Sintas is a good name for what's sure. Pay, I feel like pay sign is that, I, 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 if it's pay safe, I hate that stock. That was another one of those shitty IP, uh, bad IPOs I was involved in. Um, we do have Carnival. CCL, yeah, yeah. yeah. CCL, so. before the open, I like that one. That's yeah. a good possibility there for some trading tomorrow. We've seen RCL really take off. Ooh, RCL was today. a brand new 52-week high yesterday, so Carnival needs to pick that up as well. We'll see if that game gets going uh, upside. Yeah, well, I mean, downtown Josh Brown, yeah, that'd be great. We're, we're working up for everything, so uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. You know, we're turning guests down. Really? Okay, there goes Carnival. Yeah, Somebody's look at the Arval it's been doing over two. So it's been it's trading some volume, above average volume indeed. And take a look at this kind of distinct, uh, di well, a little distinct there. Two days in a row, it just rejects this price over here, uh, just underneath that uh, 1770, right? 1767 is the high, and then 1762 is today's high. So only about a five penny difference in uh, in those highs, and we've been kind of selling off of that. And today we actually break yesterday's low and start to sell off day before earnings, earnings eve, as they are reporting in the morning. And I think, uh, what was the other one, NCLH? Or no, they had, uh, they had a downgrade, I think, this morning. Um, yeah, Royal um, Caribbean's really been the one that's been blasting. Yeah, no, CCL, I think, is a, is a, is a good, uh, good name to watch on earnings. That hit that, I don't know. I mean, we had that unfortunate situation. I hope everyone's okay. Did you see that video? I haven't seen the that video. I, I haven't seen the video. I saw, I saw like, like a, I saw a picture of like the the, I the, if the guy was sleeping. Like I, I thought the that they would have had the bridge, yeah. talk about AI and stuff like that. I would have thought that they would have had something there. Did you, did you see it? Maybe we could find. I it. I haven't seen the video. I've, I saw. Could, like I don't know. Were, are we allowed to show those videos? I don't know, but it. It's not, it's not, I just, I don't think. There's a full video of maybe like if someone, I don't know if there was the deaths bridge. or not. It seems like there might have been because that whole bridge came down, man. It was just like, yeah. maybe we'll show it. I don't know. I don't, maybe if, if there was, if there was loss of life, we probably should not. Uh, but okay, so we'll, we'll figure that out. But anyways, there goes a nice little downside move here on the TQs. So we'll be able to uh, see if something hits right now on that move back in right now. So yeah, I mean, we took another fill there at 36. I mean, we've talked about that. I'm still really in this name. I mean, we're, we're not giving it up by any stretch of the imagination here. We're just trying to take pieces out. I would love for this to break lower. I mean, we sort of fought this again. We fought the law, and the law temporarily has lost. Thank you, Adara. Um, okay, here we go. Now we're starting to crack lower and lower and lower here uh, as we go. That coffee that Randy brought me, don't tell him. It was, again, so I don't know. I think maybe sometimes that coffee machine needs its cleaning like after it's been used yeah a thousand times by everybody here today uh so let's see if this one's any better as we're starting to get lower we just gotta clean that uh, milk system or whatever i don't use that milk system no way uh no i just get the coffee the straight espresso yeah. coffee grind it up yep. dump it in here a splash i really like that it, it freshly it's like freshly ground it, it kind of yeah. makes a little bit of a yeah that's much better yeah yeah that that I mean, first one that randy gave me that he put cream in i don't know so I used to be like one cream, one sugar. Then I got rid of sugar completely. That was about, probably about 20 years ago, honestly. Um, and then now it's just like one milk or like a splash of milk, sometimes the almond milk. I feel like Randy loaded it with like double, like something. Damn. Yeah, damn is right. How do you take your coffee straight black? We talked about uh, this. Uh, no, I like a little bit of cream and sugar. Okay. So like I, I like oh. to put the I like to put the sugar in first. What about your tea? What? Uh, I don't really drink tea, but okay. uh, yeah, no tea just like just how it is yeah well clearly i have no idea what i'm saying so all right um a little bit of sugar and cream yeah that's all. amazon Before by the way is the now coffee. 70 cents trying to go lower here you're still in google so that I am here's google. here's an example of what we're talking about where we could be uh both somewhat like-minded individuals but have different positions on where google's been showing strength today yeah, amazon in my opinion weak down against the market, starting to go lower. So we'll favor the short there. And then I've already sort of explained what my opinion is here on the NASDAQ. If this NASDAQ goes down, man, this will be quite a adventurous afternoon for me over here. So we're, we're bidding right now 23. Shout out to Michael. <laughs> nice. Um, people talking about ARM in the chat there. Uh, yeah, ARM kind of bidding, uh, sorry, uh, 
losing the bid off of that 132 coming back into that 130 as of right now. So it is kind of continuing that that uh, that sell off. Google, yes, a little bit of relative strength on the Google holding above the VWAP while while uh, Nvidia softy. What's where's Apple relative to its VWAP right now? Yeah, it's just chopping and churning, uh, kind of uh, under underneath right now but uh, it's it's spent pretty much the same amount of time above as below um, so a little bit of a chop there spider below VWAP as well um, what am I missing right here I think I've got the got the pretty uh, um, bigger names on uh, on watch when it comes to that what about Amazon I know Amazon's pretty up there in terms of constituents it is also chopping around VWAP pretty much uh, kind of like Apple there but Google relatively strong, while a lot of these other tech names looking a little weak. I wonder why, but no time to wonder. The price action uh, is what I like to trade, and uh, if I see some strength, I do want to go a little bit long there on uh, on the Google. Let's see how far we can get. Maybe we can break through some of these previous highs uh, to to if if we get some uh, market tailwind. I think that that can add uh, you know like a check in our favor, some confluence. If you want to call it um, on for that uh, for that bid, but you can see that the NQ every time it does get back into this area, we've been kind of chop 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 chop. But the bid is uh, or it's holding up on this level. Whether or not we come down, who knows? But I think uh, I think the idea is that uh, um, finding a relatively strong stock and uh, going a little long there. Nvidia pulling back off of its VWAP right there. Arm pulling back as well. But uh, I got nothing else really on watch. Softy pulling up into its uh, into its VWAP as we speak. Oh boy, was that arm short something? I was looking at that 132. I was like, okay, well 132, we tried, we we licked, but we couldn't really get past that. And then look at that strong uh, strong selling coming off of like a failed micro trend, I guess. Um, look, bid, 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 bid. Can't really get past that 132 boom a little bit of a pullback happening as of right now on the arm is anybody in the arm <laughs> frank Bo boso saying obi one short obi <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah you're, we're, the you're the long one. i mean no i no i think they're they might be talking about the, the arm uh, move there so yeah i definitely should have gone short uh, uh, on arm, I called it out. I looked over at Sharif when this this dump was happening. I was like, "Holy, we're about to break low a day through 140." Relax, get involved in the trade. Leave the emotions for after hours, or maybe just remove them totally. But um, yeah, uh, the short was absolutely beautiful off of this 40 mark. And uh, why you might ask? Let's take a look at that arm chart a little bit closer. And uh, let's take a quick look left as well. Let's, let's start off with the five minute. Actually, the 15 minute, what am I doing? Start off with the 15 minute chart. So yeah, look at that. We've been kind of in this, uh, in this chop, chop, chop. You kind of attempt to push up. Right here, you can see that high, 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 high. You break out of, uh, of it just yesterday. Uh, I think there's a little bit of a bigger picture kind of, uh, kind of action happening as well when you, when you push through this and then you come right back in the next day, which is also pretty interesting. Look at that expanding volume going into that flush. And now we're getting, a little, we got a little bit of a bid, but that, that, uh, that selling kind of coming right back in. Pushing, back, pushing it back below that 130. So yeah, I was like, oh, are we gonna get an, uh, are we gonna get a reversion? I want to see some more things happen. I need to see some more if thens set up because if I don't want to be punching long in here, if I wasn't if I wasn't long here, because I know if this breaks, I'm getting out of the long that I would be in here. Don't necessarily want to want to participate there. But yeah, using that same mindset when that when that trend does break. Reasons to buy, reasons to sell. Definitely, definitely a little bit uh, of a reason to sell when you can't really get past that 132 and uh, breaks that short-term kind of trend. Just for a scalp, right? This could make a higher low, continue back up. I have no idea, right? But uh, I'm just trying to read and get better at reading these uh, reading these charts over time. But uh, yeah, what do you got? What do you got on watch there, Sean? I yeah, see no, you're I looking wanted, at Bitcoin. Yeah, I was just looking at Bitcoin here because um, again. It broke through 70,000. This is just a one minute chart here for Bitcoin. So, you know, a nice break back down in. I just wanted to identify these levels because Bitcoin's had good dip by opportunities today. And come on, NASDAQ, let's not. Oof. Let's not jinx anything yeah. here again. This stupid thing. Uh, okay. Um, anyways, 69.4, 69. 
63-ish. I mean, that very bottom is 69,280. I mean, I don't think you're going to be looking at Bitcoin and looking to it to even maybe even the hundred dollars. But um, yeah, 69.5 to 69 seems to be a decent support there uh, just right now. If we go over to like a 15 minute chart and try to see the same thing. I mean, we've already dipped down. These are the levels that we're talking about. I feel like meh, the safer level is right oh, here. Nvidia tanking. 68. Um, Nvidia is going to the downside. Anyways, yeah, that was Nvidia's Bitcoin tanking. right there. So uh, to me, I think I'll probably stay away till about 68, but you know, you could come into a level there. Uh, all right, so this is gonna be good for us. Let's see the TQs starting to go down. I mean, we were waiting for uh, air, but we'll wait here and get something out at 27. As you guys know where MJ is sitting down there at 23. So we'll wait to see if we get a 27 fill just a bit right now. As uh, the Obster over here just mentioned, he said, look out for it. Yeah, NVIDIA, NVIDIA is just uh, pushing to low day it, or trying. Yeah, I mean, remember that talk that we said? We said NVIDIA's up here. We liked the falls in NVIDIA here. Mm. There's a VWAP again. That's, I mean, that's not VWAP, but it's still off something nice fall. Nice little wick top there. And then that was just in a nice extension. And it could have kept going for sure, but why didn't it? I mean, it could have kept going. It didn't. We danced around VWAP for a minute. I would say that was a really tough trade in there. I don't think you would really have traded that. Um, but right now it's a nice drop in. And here we go. Uh-oh. Did we get it? Yes, we did. Oh man, oh boy, Obi. This one. There we go, finally. Nice. For eight nice cents trade. worth of risk, you guys want futures trades. What else can we do? I mean, we're now giving you handles upon handles as if we're Allen Iverson all the way to the downside. Yay sports. Nice move back in. We shorted right here. It's now, it's only 30, 35 handles, but we're right back into the bottom of the day. This is what we were talking about. Now let's go. Now let's go. So we're out of this trade. Well, not out. We're out of half. We are officially out of half. We talked about had a good level there at 23. So let's go, man, um, and see what happens here. This is not a horrible cover spot, by the way. Uh, we could maybe cover. I mean, we're out of half already, but you're right into the bottom. So if we're going to call this move into the bottom of the day, now we need a little bit of kind of like luck on our side. We're already trading something that's triple the leverage. So let's see if we get a nice move down here for the NASDAQ. Let's see if we can puke all over itself. Amazon's trying to go, Obi. Yep. It's almost a dollar in the money right now uh, to the sell side. So let's just sit back, relax, and sip some cognac and see what happens here uh, with some of these names. Yeah, I like I like that look on the Amazon. When that 180 kind of fails to follow through, I like uh, I like that. I think failure to follow through is a is a decent uh, decent look if you uh, if you're kind of looking for some of those levels. And yeah, that 180 definitely uh, a little bit of a failure to follow through on that strength, and it's a lower high relative to pre market levels as well. But yeah, NQ coming in. Uh, into some of these lows, 18,530. Uh, you can see that the previous, when was this last week? Around 12, so that means one o'clock market time. Uh, we made a little bit of a low there, and then once again, in and around 145, and we're coming right back in with a strong quadunk. But take a look at this bigger picture, uh, a little bit of um, a downtrend happening there on the NQ. Uh, let me just delete that, remove that. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so let's see if we bounce off of this level where we've, get, we've been continuously getting some chop over the past couple of hours. It is 317, so uh, just under that 45 minute mark before the closing bell, just a, just a little uh, further under that for the imbalances as, uh, as well. So let's see what we got in store today. Arm catching a little bit of a bid going into that, but yeah, let's see if the NQ and the ES can catch a little bit of a bounce there. Um, but overall trend does seem like it has been to the downside. Starkly different from yesterday where we kind of just had a strong aggressive bid off, uh, off of the dip off the open and then we just bum, 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 continuing to kind of slowly t uh, trickle up uh, into, the, into the end of day. And then we got that nice little flush end of yeah. day as well. So chips with the dip for sure. Yeah, you've been liking that chips with the dip for a while there. That's, That's a good the, sign, it's like sure. the... Is that what they're saying on the floor behind us? Is that what all the young guys are saying? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think I was just like, yeah, it, the chips keep dipping and the dips keep getting bought. So uh, my daily uh, daily plan just uh, has like one message at the top. To There's like a market picture, kind of bigger picture thing. It's like uh, chips with the dip. 
that's, uh, that's just, I have that little quote there. Um, so it's like, all right, well, things aggressively do are selling off, but if you look at the higher time frames, we're in a, we're in a little bit of a bid. And there goes the NQ making some Come fresh on, lows OB. there. Let's Come see on, what Google does. Google holding up. I like that relative strength. I want to look for reasons to add onto this trade. I think I might have missed a couple down here um, uh, as well, just in, into this level and maybe into, into oh right here as well. But I don't know if this is going to come down. I'm not sitting too far away from that, only about 20 pennies, but it is a name like a Google where the ATR is may, maybe not as, uh, as wide as NVIDIA or some of the other names, right? So Google, I should be, I should be knowing this, uh, this stat before even getting into the trade, but uh, let's take a quick <laughs> look at uh, what Google's um, ATR is. I think it's around three. Yeah, okay. So 3.44 is the 14-day ATR on Google L. So yeah, I think uh, three points. What has it done so far today? From the lows, around one, uh, 149, let's call it 150. We went up to 152. So we've done pretty much three-fourths uh, or at least half if you're looking at that 3.44, uh, uh, just over half of ATR on that opening, uh, opening momentum, opening drive, maybe not opening drive, but that first morning session kind oh, of yeah. uh, move there all the way going into 12 o'clock. And we've been catching a little bit of a sell since then on Google. But yeah, relatively strong nonetheless from the rest of the market. All right, uh, this NASDAQ play, we just got filled at 17s there. We were waiting for 10s. Uh, but we just got a 17 fill there, so we're doing pretty good about that one. Let's talk about some of the names uh, potentially here that may be moving into the close. I'm still, have to, I'm still watching that a little bit like a hawk, but whatever, we don't really need to because we already got our bids in there. I'm just worried about if it blasts back up the NASDAQ, what we'd want to do about it, but well, let's uh, deal with that when it happens. Uh, okay, so Reddit right now, it looks like some of those buy areas that we were actually buying in down here at 67 apparently were pretty decent. It seems like we're holding the 66.50 area. Um, up 14%, a good day there for Reddit today for sure. Uh, but starting to lose a little bit of steam, I would have thought there. But at the same time, man, 66.50 keeps getting bought up. So regardless of what we think, that's going to be a good level. The other one, let's go. Get down NASDAQ, man. Get down NASDAQ. Uh, we'll see if we can do that. So uh, DJT right here. Um, again, Donald Trump Communications Corp, something like that. A uh, nice move to the downside right now, trying to go again lower. I would just, I don't think there's anything really here. Um, like, if you get out on a 64 break and you're worried about that right now, I would just get something out right now, if you can, before this really comes in into the close. It's already just dropped, basically, seven, let's call 76 the high of the day. I mean, sure, it gets into 80 almost. But if you're talking about like some of these levels where you're thinking about maybe I should have got out, well, maybe you should have. And at that point, it might be time to think about getting something out now because into the close here, again, uncertain of how it's going to trade, but you're getting into some loose levels like breaking through 66, that giving up that 64 right there probably brings you into something like a, a 60. And then what happens if you give that up? I mean, anyways, it just... There isn't much bid here. So when you're looking at a level two like this, like, can you still see that side? Yeah, like this is just all ones, all the way down. And we talked about the different, uh, where liquidity is. You could see even on the ask. So it kind of goes both ways. But again, just be careful. Liquidity is not plentiful. Oh yeah, uh, on this right now. If we're bidding tens, let's just bid. Um, cancel those tens. Let's uh, lower our bid at ten and put something out here at thirteen because hopefully we'll get that fill as it comes back in for us. Breaking, trying to break down through. We get a little piece there. There it is through thirteen. So that was a good fill there again. So yeah, man, we are really starting to print now. And guess what? It's a dollar club right there. So shout out to Hydration Nation as there goes Amazon. Ciao. Off that 180 so we get a little bit of revenge on this one as that's starting to head to the downside let's go man again you remember how much what the cent loss was on this one so pretty happy to still have 40 percent of this on board this is now a 35 cent winner with an eight cent risk we talked about that live that's a seven to one live trade on the futures seven to one solid yeah. hydration nation are you are you out of everything there Unfortunately, no.
What do you mean, unfortunately, no? I still have forty percent, which this thing could blow up That's, in my face. But we're just getting out. No, we're it's getting not. Out. It's not going to snap up a whole point. Well, I, I don't know. Snapchat? <laughs> uh, I'm going to get some more out here at 15 as we go. Uh, try not to jinx this trade too, too much. All right, all but right. But there it is. No, no, it's, it's not a jinx. I don't believe in those jinxes anyways. That's jinx. Um, the only jinx I believe in is Jinxie the Cat. Whoever, I don't know what, whoever knows where that's from in the Jinxie chat. Jinxie the Cat. Jinxie the Cat. Huh. If you know where that's from, you win nothing I know Jinx but the a Pokemon. shout out. Jinx the Pokemon? It's know. not a Pokemon, my guy. Uh, all right. It's the only jinx I know. Pat right. knows it. Okay, okay, no okay. Surprise okay. He's not going to ruin, gonna ruin it. it. No surprise to me. All, all right. right. Let's see. Someone's so, going to get it. Someone's going to get it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe somebody in the chat. It was the part cat. of a real fun, it's a movie series, basically. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I don't know. Oh, okay. oh, people are saying meet the parents. Is that what it is? Congratulations. Yeah, That's yeah, what it is. That's about there. Jinxy. All Jinxie right, the right. cat. The cat that flushes its own, you know, it was a great. Oh, I really like cat. that. That that's a great. There are that's cats that I can actually do that. Yeah, that's a great. That's, that's a great yeah. movie. I, I those those movies are real fun. Actually, that's probably one I could watch with my kids if we haven't watched that yet. Owen Wilson. Uh, okay, he's there, a good actor. De Niro, mm -hmm. Stiller, Ben Stiller. It's great. Great. Yeah, Meet yeah. the parents. Um, and then there's another see. one. So it's Meet the Parent. There's a few of them. Meet the parents. Meet the. F it's. Their last name is F O C K E R S. Oh, is it? If I say it, I don't. I'm not saying it. It's it's the it's no, the no. F word, but with an O. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't want to say it because honestly, like, I think the other day we got banned out of TikTok, but we actually realized what. Now I now it wasn't me that was banning us from TikTok. You see what I'm saying, Ramin? Thank you very. She's very proud of me all. <laughs> um, okay. So anyways, I'm trying I, to remember there was a there was another one where. Um, like he he gets he gets like this girlfriend and they they come over. He's like this uh, he's like this tech billionaire. I forget what it, what it was. Well, uh, a great Ben Stiller uh, uh, dodgeball is great. That's with Vince Vaughn. That's not. What I think uh, um, Ke uh, you know um, Keen Ke Keen Peele. Yeah. Uh, I think one of them is in that yeah, movie. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the what, chat's undefeated. Yeah, though, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember. Let, let us let us know in the chat what uh, what movie that was. That's kind of like the 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 girl's parents come to come to meet him, and he's like, "Yeah, we're really really down in the dumps, but our portfolio is doing fine. We're a little squeezing." And he's like, "Oh, how much is the portfolio?" And she, he says, "Like, oh, this many billion." And the mom's like, "Oh, yeah, really, really, uh, really, uh, you know, something for scraps." Okay. Did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, for, for me, I'm not. I'm trying, trying to remember to, what the movie was. I, whatever. I'm trying to look it up. It is what it is. People talking about SMCI. I did pull up SMCI there. Uh, some him? strong selling into the, into the oh, clothes. Uh, or into, oh, yeah. There, yeah is movie, why, there is a movie, Why Him. Yeah. Why Him? Is that what it's called? Yeah, no, it is. I think it is Why Him. Yeah, that was pretty funny. That was a funny yeah, yeah, movie. Yeah, I think I remember that. I think. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not using any words that will alter the YouTube algo yes. rhythm. So, the rhythm is a dance. I might need a list of those words. We, no, you don't. Just You're fine. Obi, every, everyone's fine. Thing is, you get sometimes you get a little emotional up in here. Uh, okay, so here we go. Um, we, so we covered some more down there. Honestly, we, I, I think we might have even got our 10 fill, did we? Yes, we did. So we actually get that 10 fill. A couple more. Remember, we were just covering once down there. Um, so now we're in about 30% left of this trade. So we're in about 40, and then we got that magic fill down there at 10, um, and then we got we just took another piece out right here at 17, and about two or three pieces out down here as well. So this is just how I'm trading it, but this was a good trade again for me. Um, really, really changed up the sort of trajectory, because if that would have taken that out, I was telling you guys, and again, you know, you've asked for some, some more information about that. It's like, Whenever I'm in a position, I know Neil might be a little bit different about wanting to do that, but if I'm ever in something that like I'm kind of dug into, I'll tell you guys that. Um, and that, that was a trade there where we'd almost got stopped out. So uh, we, we liked it. We talked a little bit about it. And I just had a short bias. I, I'm not even really sure why. I mean, I'm, I know why. But why I was that convinced in and around the middle of the day just turned out that it worked. So nice trade there. Amazon, if we ever get hit out I'm going to use this shelf as my out right now, so you guys can all trade this live with me. That will be a stop of, there it is, 179, what is this? 
You know, one time I had a guy message me and said, you shouldn't put your stops out because they're going to get run. Um, and I was yeah, like, stop, honestly, stop if someone watching the show is going to run an Amazon stop on me up 30 cents from where it is right now, then you <laughs> yeah, have a hell of a lot of power and send me a message <laughs> ASAP because we can talk about other things. Uh, but, okay, so that's going to be my stop right now. And if we, I mean, sometimes it feels like your stops get run, but I feel like it's because, and you and I have talked about this, if you're putting the same stops at the same levels, like people that are going to use Fibonacci's are going to get stopped out in and around those Fib levels. People that use support and resistance yeah. um, that are using day high and day low are going to get stopped around in and around those levels as well. So sometimes when we get stopped out, it's just like, yep, stopped out there. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, funny. change your stop or stop using obvious levels. I mean, you know, there's ways around all this stuff. So yeah. uh, anyways, Obi, I'm having a lot of fun with you here and thank you for covering. And Neil, will be back. On Tuesday, I guess. Oh, no, Monday. Monday, Monday. Monday's Monday, not yeah. a holiday. It's Friday just a holiday for my kids. Yeah. And these kids, man, they got a lot of holidays. Oh, yeah. I remember it was, it was like March, uh, March break. Is March break over? Yeah. So where are we still in March break? Yeah, know. it's over. Yeah, it's... Uh, that was over, actually. It's, not, it's a couple... Well, you don't have kids, so it's a very valid question. I think it was, I think it was over about a, two weeks ago. Okay. This week, maybe last week, maybe was the end of it. Was there ever a year? Oh, yeah. The TQ is going to the downside, baby. Let's get some more coverage down there. And bang, there it is. This time, Obi, it is a money damn making opportunity. This is starting to tank in right now. We should maybe clip this. This is a nice move to oh, the downside boy. right now. Bye-bye. Ciao. I don't know if there's any news or not, but here we go. Nice Holy downside move nice. into the market. We nailed that one, man. Pinned up Solid. right there. Good trade for us on the TQs. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've been talking about this all day. Uh, this, to me, feels like a professional trade, I feel like. We talked about it. We talked about why we liked it. There it is right now. This is 50 cents in the money with seven, eight cents worth of a, uh, worth of a risk right there. Good, uh, good job there. People saying D-Nut is blasting right there on, on, a, um, on, a, on a move by McDonald's. So today, would it be surprised? Oh, wow. I was going to say, I was just going to say, yeah. would it be surprised if we took out that $16 level? We talked about this right there. I had no idea. This is a huge middle finger to the market and to anybody short D nut right yeah. now. There's so much to say, but we yeah, that move is it. really climaxing. Um, do not, Obi. Market to the downside right here. You can see I got, I, I hopped out of my Google. Short code 17. <laughs> nice, nice. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. I hopped, out of, I hopped out of Google because I was like, uh, yeah, I had to. I was like, okay, relative strength, but when, if the market's going to do that, we're going to clip that 18 half. Uh, we talked about the 18 six all the way down to 18 half, and then 18 half comes right back in, and then I, uh, that, I, I switched over because I saw that, uh, saw that tape, and I was like, that's a little too red for my liking right there. And uh, yeah, we were coming right back in. So I stopped out for, I think that was break even. I'm pretty sure that was break even, just punched out. Yeah, relatively break even. Um, uh, I think about a penny, or, penny uh, away from, the, from that average there. But uh, yeah, let's see, Google right back to the downside. So it, it would seem as if this, uh, this downtrend has held overall. A little bit of a counter, but uh, yeah, it didn't really follow through. Um, after that morning, uh, after that morning move, we talked about how it was making kind of lower lows, lower highs, and lower lows into VWAP, and look at that uh, aggressiveness back into VWAP right there. One thirty, one fifty one thirties coming in on Google. I have here that uh, yeah, one one fifty one thirty four as the VWAP. So we did kind of break below that. The market is selling off there. So congratulations to the shorts. Congratulations to Sean. He's still, he's, you said you were still holding 40% of that uh, just a few minutes ago. 20%. Absolutely wild there. Nice. Oh, nice hold. oh boy. Oh, are we continuing? What? Oh, oh I got to, I got to scalp something right yeah. now. Yeah. Right now, man, this is a, this is a, shout out to Chef Joe. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't want to, I mean, I don't know if people are long or short or whatever, uh, but there it is right there as we're cooking here. Um, nice trade on that one. It's probably has something. Let's, I mean, we, like, I, Obi, we broke this down. I mean, I, I said, I feel like this is the level that we're waiting to break. And you know what we said we could get to? 18.5. That's exactly where we are right now. 18.5. We're at 18.494. It cut it through like butter. Now let's see if we get to the downside. The next level's here, 18.570. So we'll hold this into the end of the day and call this one of the best trades. Um, 
we've ever really, honestly, even on the show, that we've talked our way through. We had the 200 period. We talked about liking this trade and we held enough of it to actually put this one on the board. So that's a big one right there as we'll watch out for this uh, coming in again. We just took another fill uh, at these lows. So, I mean, we can look back just, just as because this is, again, looking for some levels to talk about right there. So 6160, stupid for me. Not, even if I think we're going into here, I, I still think that we should be taking something out. We only have 30 minutes left. Anything can change on these imbalances. And uh, this is not, we still have shares. So like, we'll, we'll just do what we want to do here. Take some out as we continue to fall in now on the NQ and just be like, yeah, good trade there. Happy to make it. Um, and happy to have this on. So let's go. Um, nice downside push here. Good trade there. We are now almost $2 in the money um, on Amazon. And you want, what's up to Kyle? Kyle, you want it? You got it. Also, shout out to Ponzi Fonzi. I apologize for the lack of shout outs right there. But here we go, Kyle. He wanted hot the hot dog cannon. cannon. And there it is right there. You know, stick with what you're thinking. We talked about today going short in this market. Um, oh, and here we go to more, the downside. Yeah, more legs to the downside. That 18.5 just broke. 151 breaking there oh, on 18.5 Google. 18.5, uh... 18 yeah, 18.5, bit of a level there maybe. Um, but uh, oh, man, we're NVIDIA, feeling some kind of NVIDIA now, making boy. some fresh lows. Softy trying to make some fresh lows. Take a look at this. A little bit of a distinctly different action going on there. You can see that Google only had this kind of uh, strong bars right off the open. And then we get that intraday kind of a flush with the NQ going to the downside. Oh boy, chips with the dip. Uh, what's up, Adara? I'm not sure this is the reason for the market move, but I'm seeing a lot about this. So I will share this. Earlier today, we had China filing this World Trade Organization dispute over the U.S.'s discriminatory EV subsidies, basically saying the fact that uh, the U.S.'s EV subsidies are going to be less eligible if the parts are from countries including China, Russia, North America, or Iran, basically saying that uh, the U.S. is saying under the guise of being, I guess, carbon neutral or more sensitive to climate change are actually just favoring U.S. parts. So now the reason this is moving now is because, uh, potentially, is because the U.S. trade rep has now said that they're reviewing, or the World Trade Organization is reviewing China's complaints. This was filed earlier today, currently being reviewed, also seeing a headline just now that the U.S. mission to the World Trade Organization received the consultation request from China regarding parts of the Inflation Reduction Act, and that's coming from the uh, USTR, uh, the U.S. Trade Rep Office. So just keep an eye on this news. Not sure if that's what's moving in the market, but certainly something to be aware of. You visit Dara for sure, as we will as well uh, watch to see. So again, it seems like it would be a little news related, but the market's just flat now. I don't, um, you know, that would make sense. Any, any kind of talk here uh, about foreign affairs or anything is, is definitely something to watch out for in this market, especially we had that unfortunate event there in Moscow not too long ago, um, and there was some blame back and forth there, and it's just, it's, it's um, and in China, obviously, some of this talk is not as dramatic as some of the stuff that I'm talking about, but you just got to watch out for that. I do have Benzinga in my ear. If I ever heard anything dramatic, um, obviously, we would let everybody know, uh, but we'll, we'll take some more out. So we're getting lighter and lighter now, man. We only have about 15, maybe 20. I've just been, I have odd shares uh, out. So we're, we're, we're getting a lot lighter on this position right now because if that move was it right there we basically got it man we got from here i mean we didn't get from the very top but up here in in the down i mean we got to be happy taking some of these levels so we'll hold the rest i don't have any more offers uh, bids out sorry i do have one at 6155 which would be the very bottom of this so we'll see if that can hit right down there. But other than that, let's see what we can get, if we can get more, especially on a downside move. This is obviously all house money. So let's go to the downside now, and we'll see what's up uh, over at the desk again with Adara. This part of the show brought to you by Trade Ideas. Real-time scanning and alerting used on our desk by many of our traders every day. See what's moving in the moment with Trade Ideas. Check out the link in the description for 20% off. Thank you, Adara. Um, yeah, I'm just watching, uh, we're watching this, these markets kind of uh, not fall even. to the downside. Nothing too crazy, but yeah, that, that, uh, that flush came in real hot. Like you can see that it is a distinctly different versus the action that we've been having over the past few years, the past, past few hours, not years. Yeah, years. Um, it feels like it. Uh, it feels like forever. No, I'm joking. Um, three, uh, 3.37, so only about a few more minutes. Um, 
uh, 23 minutes left for the closing bell. And uh, yeah, let's see what we do with this 18 half here. I'm looking for Google to kind of change this pace, but that 151 is still uh, is still kind of uh, looking a little bit weak here. Let's see what we do in and around there. Uh, looking left, let's see if we can find a couple of things to go off of on the Google. So Google right here, we'll, we'll start off with an hourly and uh, let's check out some bigger picture stuff. So, okay, some strong, strong flushes, strong flushes, strong pops as well, but take a look at that. It's still kind of within this, uh, whatever you want to call it, pennant flag, uh, what say you, a little bit of technical uh, stuff going on here. But yeah, look at that, look at those highs, 152 and some change, and then you're making uh, a little bit of uh, relatively higher lows as well, except for this one uh, pre-market. Is that a pre-market wick? Yeah, this happened on Friday, nice little pre-market wick, and we've made higher lows since then. I was pointing this out on a shorter time frame as well. Take a quick look at that well, one. 178 came in for Tesla. Yeah, that, that 180 is, uh, is interesting for, for Tesla, for sure there, Sean. Um, so yeah, take a look at this thing going on. Wow, that is actually really nice. Huh, okay, so maybe, if the chart is showing me that that's respecting, maybe that's where we look for the bid, right? 150 halves, let's see what we do in and around that 150 half. But again, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just a line on the chart. I gotta read the tape around those prices to really confirm. I feel, yeah, I feel like that was one thing from Brian Shannon that I learned for sure is, is that although he's only pretty much look, I mean, he's looking at other things, but the main indicator there, anchored VWAP, doesn't take every trade that hits the anchored VWAP. You want to see the action yes. that's happening around said lines. Okay, uh, without any further ado, let's go again to the hardest working person around. It's Adair and she's at the screen. Take a look at some of these S&P 500 names making larger movements that maybe we haven't discussed or discussed as much, including UPS, United Postal Service, very much to the downside here, down about 8% after initially gapping up. They uh, announced their 2026 revenue expectations, uh, free cash flow and CapEx expectations as well. So initially market responding positively, then moving to the downside here for UPS. We also have Seagate Technologies here, C uh, STX, this one mentioned briefly earlier, but up about 8% after getting an upgrade and a $115 price target from Morgan Stanley, STX here. Last but not least, IP International Paper, trading very much to the downside, though trying to recover a little bit here after confirming that it's made an all equity proposal to acquire a DS Smith. So interesting move to the downside here for IP, guys. Thank you, Adara. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're kind of catching a little bit of, uh, of, a, of a wick on, okay, I gotta get rid of that. Um, wick on the uh, NQs there as well as the ES. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some confluence here on the Google uh, for, uh, for a little bit of a, of a bid there. So we did get down into 150, uh, 80s and some change right there on that, uh, on that sharp little drop. So uh, I don't know who's selling, but, but sellers definitely were there in the past few minutes and we reclaimed that 151 as of right now. So let's see how well this level holds now or do we just come right back in and we just chop and churn. Like I said, with only about 20 minutes left, wow, it, time's, it, it time's went flying. fast today, didn't Time it? is flying. There exactly. are nine minutes. I feel like just a few minutes ago, I was like, okay, well, you know, we got about 45 minutes left till the closing bell. And lo and behold, now we got only about 20 minutes. So cut that time down in at, with a 50% mark. Um, nine more minutes till the imbalances come out. And let's see if we kind of bounce going into the close today. And uh, yeah, let us know what you guys have been trading. People talking about GME. Yeah, let's, t let's take a quick look at GME, how that's been setting up. You know, those earnings are in the after hours. Don't forget to stick around with Sean for the market recap. And he's definitely going to be talking about that name in the after hours today. What time does it actually report? Is it like 420, 450 Yeah, it'd have to be, it's, it's, I'd have to find yeah, the last well, one. I think it, it'll, it'll, it'll be after hours today, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's and then, uh, for sure. Yeah, GameStop. GameStop, uh, uh, not Game really, stonk. Game Stonk, yes. Uh, that is the correct pronunciation, if I do remember, <laughs> cor <laughs> if I do remember correctly. Did yes. you wind up watching Dumb Money, or? Oh, no, I have to That's do that good. It's pretty yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, it's no. not like, not gonna win any awards or anything like that, but yeah. it's a fun movie. Yeah, it's a, it, it's, did you I liked it. think that it like summarizes the story well? situation or they they, they kind yeah of I like think it was really great I mean I, I felt like it was probably true to the story 
you know, there's some stories there of people that were YOLOing and things like yeah. that and just, you know, stories of like, you know, single mothers and whatever that were having, um, you know, runs at that stock. And yeah, it was, it was, for me, it was a fun movie. I liked it. The wife uh, liked it. We went, we went together there and it was a fun time. We All right, because you guys saw it at TIFF. Yeah, we saw yeah. it at TIFF. Yeah, nice, so it was, nice. that was a lot of fun there. I was actually sitting with some uh, Citadel people and that was a lot Ooh, of fun. Interesting. Needless to say. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so that was a fun time. Check it out. Anybody there in the chat for sure uh, that gets a chance to see that. Um, I just want to talk quickly because Amazon, uh, again, did have a move back to the upside. I'm going to use basically 179 as an out, so I just upped it a little bit. That wick down there is 179.10, so that's my out for Amazon in case things get a little too spicy down there. Um, all right, and then for the cues, I just took another fill at 85 there, but we are coming back in. So I just didn't want to see this all evaporate. Like, you kind of... No one's fault there. I didn't realize the time either. But when you were like 20 minutes left, I basically, at that point, I just punched out uh, of 20% uh, of what we had left. So we're getting out of this trade. I mean, this has been, honestly, pretty much a, not a day saver, but, you know, it could have been a heck of a lot worse if we had got stopped out. And again, it wouldn't have been that bad. It's just we wouldn't have had all this. That's all. So nice move back in. Join me today. We'll have Chris Bretcher on, uh, and we'll talk all about everything market-related. Okay, TQs, guys. I mean, this is honestly, man, we did it. So here we go. Let's just props up to everybody that was bullish with me, uh, bearish with me uh, down there. And uh, again, just a congratulations to anybody that wound up having Ooh, this trade. There it goes, even further. Dude, this was, this is now a dollar in the money. We had seven, nice trade, eight cents Sean. worth of risk. Congratulations. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good one. We'll see if we get this fill. I'm sitting down here at 55. If I miss a 55, um, all right, punch out. Okay, I just took a 58 there. Uh, we canceled our 55. Now let's let, let this thing get to the downside. Pretty good trade here on the futures. Again, shout out to Dan Emmons. He messaged uh, me as well. This guy's short from a similar level, maybe even higher. Nice. Uh, but again, so this is from here. So this is more than 100 handles right now. Damn. So this is 100 handles plus... Uh, no, sorry, we're short here. Yeah, 63. Sorry, we're down right now at 62. Yeah, okay, there it is. So it's a dollar club times 100 uh, right there. So nice move to the downside here for the futures. A lot more than we had yeah. thought or oh, yeah. we would have held it all. But someone's like deleving their, their uh, folio or what, what do you think might be happening? I think the Nasdaq is down a quarter of a point. Yes. I think that's, that's a good way to put it there. I don't think this is anything, man. This is a, we've already, I mean, we broke it down. I mean, honestly, Obi, look, we're happy with the trade. It's great. I mean, and thank you for the, you know, the, the congratulations there. But we already called this. We called this, we called this this morning at 10 o'clock. We said, if we break this, this, this is where the support is. We literally wicked to that bottom, Obi. Yeah. So, we're I mean. Right, yeah, we're coming right back into it. That's there. right where we covered. We just covered a piece down there. So it's nice. Yeah, when it works out, you look smart. When it doesn't, you, you, know, you wonder what's going on. So, uh, but that was a good trade there. Um, but there it is, man. Uh, yeah, and I don't want everybody to think like the sky is falling here. The NASDAQ is, is barely like 0.23. The ES is 0.11 right now. Like this is a, a drop right here into... Like if this kind of a move is making you nervous about your portfolio or whatever... I mean, you might be in the wrong game. Uh, I, I, I think these are almost not even buying opportunities yet. Like, if you're looking for longer-term positions, you still have a lot more to go um, considering where we've came from. So let's just keep on, keep on with the good vibes here. And uh, it, for, the, for me, it would be to the short side. But again, we are minutes away, Obi, from that imbalance. Yes. Hence why... I just pulled up my imbalances. Any, anything... I mean, it nothing hasn't yet. updated yet, but yeah, nothing too crazy here on the NQ. Yeah, you guys can take a look right here. So uh, yeah, I don't really see any names that I recognize either. But uh, yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait for that to come in, and it'll populate with some of the some of the uh, names there. Let's see if any of them kind of show up. Nvidia pushing fresh day lows well, as that's uh, nice again part of this. Eh? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, SMC. I think people were talking about SMCI as well. SMCI. Um, let's take a quick look at that one as well. So right here, take a look. Uh, pushing right back into that 1,000 mark, maybe only about 20 points away, 30 points away from uh, from that uh, 1,000 mark. Um, let's see. We, yeah, we came back. We came up from 970s yesterday. So yesterday, that aggression was quite quite interesting. There, I necessarily wasn't involved, 
But uh, yeah, the, the, again, we saw how strong the chips were. I was fighting the trend on Nvidia while this was happening. That's a, that's a miss on my part. I gotta, if I'm trading a chip, if I'm trading a chip name, chip sector is in play. Um, a kind of uh, spicy, spicy moves happening. You gotta watch, or I gotta watch uh, the some of the chip leaders. SMCI definitely being a strong player in that uh, in in that kind of group there of the semiconductors. But yeah, bigger bigger picture. Got can't be forgetting about the bigger picture. Um, Perspective, doesn't matter what I think uh, that NVIDIA can or cannot do if the chips are selling off and you're, you're trying to long a chip name or these chips are uh, aggressively strong and you're trying to short a chip name, might be something to, might be something to consider keeping an eye out uh, uh, for some of those uh, sector leaders, right? So that's, that was kind of a miss on my part yesterday. I didn't really expect Intel to kind of uh, pop on that, but again, why did I do that? It was anchoring to the bad news. Right. I was like, this is this has got to go down. <laughs> yeah. This has got to go down. And I'm like, all right, well, it, it did gap down in the pre-market, but it doesn't matter what I think. If I if if it's bidding, if it's reclaiming VWAP, if it's back through open, if it's breaking that opening range high, there's nothing that says short about that kind of action. I don't think so. But uh, yeah. Um, Pushing fresh lows there. It's a good thing I didn't get involved in and around that 151 to re-long. I was like, okay, no, why do I want this long? The market is selling off. I'm anchored to that long idea. I'm trying to get back for not really selling when we did push up uh, all the way from uh, 151.40s all the way Damn, into 151.70s. Oh, boy. Are you still short that Amazon? Yeah, man. It's a dollar seventy now in the money nice. and still nice. going. This TQ's trade, the futures trade is a dollar in the money. We're having a great afternoon um, right now. We're going to wait. Only 30 seconds left, and we'll get these imbalances. Oh, yeah. So just so everybody knows, we, we already have that out for Amazon. I probably need to change that. Unfortunately, we're too close for me to deal with it right now. We don't have very many shares. Um, and then I, was, I, I have a half out of what we have left if we take this 90 area. Um, that could easily happen here into the close. So let's see if it does happen in and around 61.90. We also do have a bid down in the teens in case we actually get the flush. We have one in the 40s here at this day low. We actually have 40 flat. Uh, and then we have something in the teens in case we really do spit lower here. And there's the imbalances out right now. We'll Boom. get that number from Adara when we get it. Uh, but for right now, um, it's looking like Apple's with a nice little sell here. Mm -hmm. So Apple ticking lower, yeah, that should, up. you would think, start a move to the downside here as we are now getting a new low in the NASDAQ and or are close enough to it. We'll go into the gates of hell here into the close as it looks like the NASDAQ wants to come in just a little bit. Amazon is still $1.70. Let's just think about getting out. Well, we still have our 179. So let's just change that. Um, we don't need anything to flip up on us. So 178, 178.81. Right, or let's go 86 right there to get out of that one. That will solidify about a dollar fifty there. So we're happy with that. And then the TQs um, trying to make a move back up. So despite it being 4.9 billion to sell from Adara, let's put something on the bid here because it looks like the Nasdaq's trying to go back up here, Obi. Yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of a bounce. I just saw Google kind of come into that 150 60s and then look at that wick back to the upside there on the Google L. So yeah, maybe potentially a little bit of a little bit of a bounce, but it is 351. What is on the imbalances, you may ask? Sean just went through them. Nothing too crazy as of right now, but let me know if you guys are still holding some positions going into the close, going into that uh, going into that uh, rebound time. Uh, was it uh, three, 350, 355, 356? Um, let me see, where is that inbound right here? Okay, so what, which one am I looking for? That's the one right there. So that's the NQ one right here. So Intel with the two million to sell. Let's pull up Intel real quick and see what's going on with Intel because that's kind of in the direction of uh, where the market is headed towards. So Intel still chopping that 42. This wick is going to be, uh, it's, that's a little annoying, but uh, yeah, let's take a look at just the price there. 42, so it hasn't really gone anywhere too far off of that 42 that we were mentioning all day and a little bit yesterday. Apple with a sell, pretty much a lot of selling. Uh, Amazon sell, softy sell, uh, nothing too crazy beyond that. NVIDIA and AMD, Tesla, Goog is also a sell. Goog L also a sell. So yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, caps uh, and large constituents of the markets 
are a sell off of uh, the imbalances, but nothing too, too crazy uh, in my opinion. But that sell-off came in off of that, uh, off of that uh, I guess, test into that uh, 18 half and then a continuation below it for about 40, po uh, 40 points into the 18,460. But uh, yeah, people talking about, yeah, I asked what you guys are holding if you guys are into the close. And uh, yeah, so let's see Meta. People, I think somebody just mentioning Meta. Let's take a quick look at Meta. I know that Meta is up there as well. We were looking at that uh, name a couple a uh, couple of days ago, I think. Yeah, a couple couple of, couple of days ago. And uh, Meta to the downside. Quite aggressive selling. Take a look at that expanding volume as well, pushing into the lows, going into the close. So uh, a little bit of a similar kind of action happening across the board here. Who is relatively strong as of right now? I don't think really anybody. Google was the one I was watching, but Google um, giving away that strength real quick going into the close there. So I'll switch back to that one. I'm not really interested in the Intel. Uh, Proper Paradox asking thoughts on DJT. So yeah, let's take a quick look at DJT here. And DJT, oh boy, we are selling off on DJT. Back down, back to the downside. So we saw what happened here. Uh, things were getting a little loud on that attempt towards that uh, 75, or try, attempt to push that 75 straight quadunk. We saw that happen into VWAP consolidates just above uh, and below in and around that 72 before it can't really go anywhere and then continues to the downside, making some fresh lows on the intraday. Pre-market so, lows still untested as of right now. What's going on there? Uh, GME, GME starting to moon a little bit. So we'll, we'll get it. Oops, that's Travolta wondering what's going on. Uh, GME right now try, trying to get going. So in today's high, into the close. So we'll wait to see um, about GameStop uh, on that one. Actually, Derek, can you do me a favor and just find out what the expected earnings per share is on this one? Because there was talk about them potentially uh, going profitable here on EPS. So we'll wait to see there with GME coming in. All right, um, Amazon is absolutely throwing up all over itself. So we'll spend the money on that one into the close as it's just going lower, lower, lower. Um, and that's gonna be a good trade for sure. Okay, hello. Uh, Amazon right now, one and now $2 winner uh, for AMZN. So um, yeah. Why don't we just take this bid out right now, basically immediately? And there it is. Wow. Uh, we'll spin that one up and we'll go. Nice move to the downside right there in Amazon. Uh, wow. Who we? Nice short. You you were short from that 180, right? Yeah, man. We were short at 180 or something. Wow, there. nice. We just took two bucks clean. Yeah, that was the, the, those were the Look highs. I was watching. Yeah, I was watching. Uh, I was long Who into next? that, and then when it got back below 180, I was like, yeah, I do not want to get long if. That 180 breaks, breaks back through because that's a good reason to sell. I think we just need to, yeah, no, I mean, that's, we wrote down 180 here and we actually like the Amazon long and we only really wound up going short. We were long once down here at 179, which was the loser and then eventually brought it in. But it just, this just goes to show you, Obi, like, we covered there at VWAP. That was 179.78 or whatever it is. This is 178.20 now. It's just like how dramatically. Further. Things can change in an hour. I mean, in the market, sure, it's a, it's, I mean, it's a huge move down. Don't get me wrong. Um, just because of how it happened. I mean, we were all here together watching this. So it does feel like this 100 plus point move down. I don't know who would have called that. But that, that, was a, that was a nice move all the way back in. And we could get a lot more because we had broke this down for you uh, on the longer time frame. And the NASDAQ still has a ways to go. But this is good. Like this, I, I don't, it's not good. We don't want to lose on these positions. But this kind of a flush uh, back in today, I mean, we'll see. I feel like we could bounce off this tomorrow. So let's, let's wait. I mean, I, I hate to make calls like bullish or bearish heading into tomorrow, but let's see if we can hold in and around here. This is going to be a big level for the NASDAQ, 18.4. So, yeah, we're still pushing below. I know, man. I mean, we Fresh now have, a, I mean, the Qs is. That NVIDIA short. Starting to get spicy. Through, like it. through that low day, what was that? Uh, 9.39. That's wild. They're over 10 points 
uh, off of those lows there. Take a quick look. Yeah, yeah arm kind of uh, holding up uh, on top of that, what is that, 127, 126-ish area. 126.90s being the low day there. But uh, what was I looking at? NVIDIA, right? And has Reddit done anything? Okay. So Ooh, Reddit NVIDIA, funny. take a look at this. When that, when that kind of uh, low a day, previous low a day, of course, cracks look at how how the selling kind of comes in look at that volume really uh really getting aggressive into those flushes there so yeah definitely um, uh interesting stuff what's happening djt djt is down 20 dollars uh from about an hour ago yep. uh so djt about an hour ago had its best moments at 75 dollars. and look i can't predict the future that's impossible if i could i wouldn't be here but we talked about it breaking this level right here 68, $69, that level 67.50. We said if we broke that level, I just I didn't know what was next. Um, you bounced around a little bit. You would have had some offers and some ability to get out around 66, but there we go. DJT just gone um, to the downside with only a minute left. So watch out for that one. Starting to get pretty nasty out there for DJT. Um, and then also Reddit. Basically, not at day's low, but close enough to it where we had gone low, we had gone long here before into $64. So we'll have to wait. This could be a good long tomorrow. The best part about all of this is the markets are open tomorrow. So if you missed it today, thank you so much. Um, if you missed it today, you wouldn't be watching. But if you missed us earlier today, watch us tomorrow. We're back here tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. We'll go over all this. We got the sticky note. We got the watch list. TV.live. And promise me, Obi, you'll be here tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I will be here tomorrow um, after uh, a little bit of a nap, for sure. Yeah, well, all a bit Hopefully of a slumber. Hopefully, we'll all get some kind of rest yeah, slumber. tonight. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been kind of uh, cutting, uh, cutting the sleep. Uh, I wouldn't say unnecessarily. I just, uh, I, yeah, I just feel like uh, I, I, I'm trying to do, like, a bunch of things. I have to revamp my whole schedule, and I'm like, all right, well, uh, there's not enough time in the day to kind of do this. So I have to kind of figure out my schedule and make it a little bit more uh, effective and efficient. Um, but uh, that being said, we're catching right. I'll a see bit. everybody on the other side. When yes, we'll sir. Talk about GameStop Thank you. Recap show. See you soon. Yes, sir. Sean's going to go set up uh, for the recap show. Don't go anywhere, guys. We only got about 10 seconds left. So I'm going to hit the countdown timer right now with 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. There she is. 4, 3, 2, and one, thank you, thank you, Adara. And uh, yeah, so there we go. We got uh, we we got another crazy day with a lot of opportunity. The nice little sell-off into the close. A lot of shelf breaks. I'm seeing. Uh, looking back at it, uh, you can see that AMD. This was when I was looking at this AMD here. Oh, did I trade? Oh yeah, I did trade AMD uh, earlier today. Yeah, this was what I was talking about. This is what I was gonna say. I got in off of a tape read. I got a little aggressive. I was like, okay, well, if I see that, I definitely want to put some risk on. And then it starts getting aggressive to the upside. I have no idea what's going on. The plan was to take it into VWAP, like and then I don't think so. boom, we go to 182 halves, and I'm like, oh boy. Uh, I got to leave a runner on. I have to re revamp that uh, the structure of that trade there. Yeah, sure, you followed the plan, but part of the system is leave a runner on if it's working. But uh, uh, let me know when you guys are ready at the big desk, and I uh, will get ready to pass it over there. Market's catching a little bit of a chop right after the close. But uh, hopefully you guys had a great trading day today, good or bad in terms of PL. Hopefully we, lo we learned some lessons. I know I definitely did. Uh, Mother Market always humbling and teaching lessons every day. Try to get better and uh, try to learn from today's lesson and try to carry it forward into tomorrow. That's that 1% every day. What can I do better, a little bit better even, for tomorrow that can help me out is, what, uh, is the mindset I am trying to adapt and uh, implement in my life. But uh, without any further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Sean at the Big Desk, so stick around for the market recap. Take care, guys. See you tomorrow. Wow, thank you so much, uh, Obi, for that. As we now have Benzinga in our ear, we will bring you GameStop and everything to you ASAP. Wow, um, what an end of the day there. As the NASDAQ, oh, Stream Deck is not loaded over here. I'll load that up in a minute. As the NASDAQ made a move uh, there at whoopsies what just happened oh no um how do i get back to my other screen do you know how to do that alt windows alt left oops left arrow okay uh is this the right one 
There it is. Woo. Okay, Stream Deck still missed for a loop right there. All right, guys, um, you saw a nice move down for NASDAQ. So right now we'll watch GameStop if I hear anything. Thank you to everybody that's here right now. Shout out to Huang family, Bora, TH, Andrew, and everybody. Great job, Obi. That is for damn sure. Um, we had a nice little move down in the NASDAQ at the end of the day. What's up with that? Well, we were short this name. The, the best part about it was I feel that NVIDIA. So, I mean, look at this flush. We left this alone there at the end of the day as we were clearly focused on the NASDAQ, but today might have been one of the worst days for NVIDIA in a minute. I mean, um, here we go. Let's zoom in just a little bit here to see exactly. I mean, here's the red candle. I mean, we get a nice move down here, 950, all the way back to 870, 874. That's because of earnings. We did bounce back up there uh, on that. Or was that earnings there? Uh, March 8th? No, that's not earnings for NVIDIA. Uh, but a nice move back in. This red candle trying to form out. I still like NVIDIA down here. But again, a quite a nice move here at the end of the day as we get... I don't know. I don't want to say destroyed to the downside. 925 is still a good level. Let's see what happened to AMD down to 177. So that's a name uh, that we can look at. I will bring you guys everything um, all about GameStop. We just got to wait for it. EPS expected. EPS of 25 cents. So we'll see if they can, um, you know, come through. All right. So this is what we're looking at right now. Uh, this might be a little hard to see. If I, maybe if I can, maybe... Get, get me off there, thanks. Yeah, Microsoft today pretty flat. Google up right now today. Um, you're just gonna see a lot of the big names in red if there was anything. So there's Nvidia down that 1.73%. I actually think it was down more than that. We'll refresh. Oh, it's taking the aftermarket in consideration. So, all right, so some nice downside moves. What was up today? Tesla with a nice move today. How about them Disney shares as Disney gets going today? Again, um, nice move upside for Disney. Let's have a quick look. We did fade off that 120, but we closed that 120. So that's a great trade. We'll talk about this maybe with Chris, but we've had a nice move upside for Disney, taking out that 118. To me, this is a good sell level. You all know that we're long Disney from, from 80, but really from 90 to 80, $95. Nice move up right there. What was getting hit today? The utilities, a little bit of downside action here today on the daily. The one name that I think we could probably buy that I saw some of you asking me about was XBI. Um, so right here again, this is the biotech ETF. It's been getting hit downside a little bit, but I like biotech. I like all this new drug discovery. We do like Moderna here. I like Eli Lilly, Nova Nordisk. You guys can do the research to what's in right there, uh, but this could be a good play. Back into the 50 period, watch out for that one on X. BI. A recent buy of mine was Snowflake. We bought some of that. Had a nice move up to 160 and change today, but at the end of the day, finishing. GameStop is out. It's 22 cents uh, for GameStop. So they are positive. Uh, 20, okay, so 22 cents, missing 25 cents, missing 29 cents. GameStop, a nice downside move here, starting to go. Uh, GameStop sales down as well. I'm hearing it in my ear. I don't have it on Benzinga. A miss on sales and a miss on uh, earnings per share. So there goes GameStop right into $13. Looks like they're going to miss everywhere. Honestly, true story. I was in GameStop this weekend. My kids wanted that uh, Super Mario uh, Tokyo 2020, the Olympics game for the Switch. They didn't have it. But there it is. Nice downside move there. We probably just have to get it off of the game store, uh, the Switch store, Nintendo Online, not good for GameStop. Nice downside move. Drink some water as we wait for those numbers officially. It's GameStop right here. Sooner the better for Chris. All right, Trader Talk, let's go. It's Chris, let's go. I don't have it on here. I don't have... Uh... Hit Trader Talk for me if you guys have it. There it is. Hey, Chris, how are you doing, my hey, friend? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you perfectly fine. Thank you so much on short notice coming through today. It was supposed to be tomorrow, but we're doing our podcast, so I wanted to bring you out uh, today. Nice miss. I mean, not a nice miss, but GameStop. Um, again, sales 1.79 versus 205. They miss on EPS and sales. There goes GameStop to the bottom. Is this, an, is this a name that maybe 
uh, you look at, uh, Chris, or is this for the birds, this GameStop? I mean, they haven't been a great trade for a while. GameStop right now going lower, Chris, taking down that 12 now. GameStop down 13%, now below some of this uh, support. Next support down here at 12 bucks. Um, anything on this report for you? No, um, we were sitting... Uh, well, I did a uh, actually a Twitter, a one-minute video on rebalancing at the end of the quarter. Okay. And that they were going to hit the biggies. So it was really exciting to see them hit the biggies the last three hours. And uh, I have a, I'll show you my reasoning. I can show you a watch list if you'd like. Sure, yeah, let's, let's talk about that because that's what our traders are looking for, new trade ideas. So let me know what's on that watch list um, and what, what you're looking sure. at. Uh, so the first thing we did in here is we went just to your trusty free site uh, FinViz. And what we did in there, let me get it so I'm not staring to the left on you. Uh, give me a second. My internet went out right when the market started to get nailed. But I'll show you this. I have a lot of tabs up. So all we did in here is we took a screener. Okay. Now, the reason we're doing this is because the disparity between bonds and stocks is the widest I've seen it in about seven years. And so you have the SPX on the left. So I put a little arrow at the beginning of the year. And on the right, you have the 30-year bond market and what this has done since the beginning of the year. So, and 50-50 funds need to sell stocks and buy bonds to make up for that. Right. You mentioned, so, that, but you mentioned that to us before, but... When does that happen? The third Friday? Is that what it was? Is that the rebalance? No, the end, uh, the end of the quarter. End of so the there quarter. are all different kinds of rebalances, but this one, the quarterly one, is usually the biggie. But the real thing is it hasn't worked forever because you haven't had this big a disparity. So the whole idea is that's a massive disparity for the quarter. So what do hedge funds have to sell? Probably their biggest holdings. Right. Makes sense. So that, that's how we did the FinViz scan. So all we did in here is we took sector. You could take technology or any sector. We'll just take tech just as an idea. But we really took any and we took X funds. So I don't know if you could see this. Yep. I know it's sort of small. No, no, we can see everything. This is actually works out perfectly fine. We're, we'll remove your head when we get the uh, symbols ready to go there. Uh, Chris, and just you can set this up if you want and come back to me for a couple minutes. Oh, no, I can do it fast. I mean, this is something really quick. So all we're doing is we're taking stocks over 50 that have current volume over 750,000. That's personal preference. Right. And we're adding one technical indicator. All we're adding is stocks that are up at least 20% for the quarter. Okay. And then what we did is we sorted them by price and we built a big old watch list. So let me show you the watch list and what they did today on the close. It's pretty exciting. So here's my watch list, March 25th, end of quarter. I did this yesterday. And you're gonna see amazing moves in the last three hours. Check this out in Meta. Now I'm a little annoyed because we did a spread in Meta and we were too right. But I want to show you this anyway. So this is meta this year. It's gone crazy, like you yep, know. Yep. And then go and check what it's done on a five-minute chart. That's pretty dramatic. And it's not a one-off. I mean, so it was huge... meta. It was the, the SPX. It was Microsoft. It what? was NVIDIA. You talk, I mean, are you talking amazing. about specifically for today, into today's close? Um, no, we were positioning for, let's say, Thursday. Usually what happens is it happens at the end of the, uh, the middle of the week. Okay. Because everybody tries to front run everybody else. Um, so usually on a Tuesday or Wednesday of a normal week, because it's a short week, we figured it would be today. Okay. Well, hey, you nailed it. That, that's a good one. We did have a market side imbalance of $4.9 billion to sell that came out, of course, at three fifty, dollars and that was a good indicator. And I don't, I mean, I know you're a busy guy and your internet crapped out, but thankfully our internet didn't do that at all. Check out this trade, my guy. We had the TQQs. We took over 130 points on the NASDAQ as we shorted a triple levered NASDAQ product right here. These are all short, 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 short. 
shirt, and then I don't get out like anybody else you've seen. Um, so these were all covers right here into the clothes all the way down, man. Um, and we just kept covering, 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 covering all the way back in. But isn't that kind of crazy the way I trade? Just keep on getting pieces out all the way there. We call it planting purple flowers. You got the purple up here, then the green all the way to the downside. So yeah, we were definitely... Yeah, we were definitely a part of that uh, short into the end of the day. And we only had a couple sectors that wound up up today, including uh, China, which was up. We had XLV with a little bit of healthcare up, the financials up uh, today as well. Um, so yeah, good call on that move down there in the SPX. But my question for you, Chris, is this. Where is this guy? Let me see him. There he is. All right, this is done. So that's done. Great call, we'll pat ourselves on the back, that's good. But what are we expecting tomorrow? I see the NASDAQ bouncing a little bit here. We're coming into a little bit of support. I could see a little bit of a rally early, maybe back up to this like 18.5 or so area on the NASDAQ, and then a potential fade into the close for tomorrow. I mean, we're heading into a long week, a long weekend with Easter. Um, could you, are you looking at potential selling continued into the weekend, or was this move maybe just a flush that you're looking for? Well, I have out. Of, I had out of the money put flies that are now like went through the strike, so probably will keep going down. But uh, but all kidding aside, um, well, let me just tell you. Number one, we're short a lot of things, but we're long XBI in the Chinese market, and unfortunately, right. they got dragged down with everything else on the close. But those could definitely the turn back around. Deco. But I wanted to show you this. This is the last time I saw this kind of massive disparity between the bonds and the uh, the SPX. This is 2016. And I wanted to show you that it didn't end on a Wednesday. So it kept going down the rest of the week, the entire week from Wednesday to Friday. It never bounced. So I just thought you'd like to see that, that it might not be over then if I go to the SPX just now, where's the support? Well, I think you're right. You see, the support is right there, the prior tops. It's not that far from it, like you said. So you could, I got to think, if you get that bounce, it's got to be a fade until I see that support tested. Um, okay, I was looking at the same thing. You are long FXI or you long KWeb? Because there's a couple different names here in China. Um, and what is getting you long this? Because unless I misheard you, um, I, you know, I like this. We're above the 50 period for me, just on a technical base here. I almost wonder if some of the wool's being sort of over, covered over our eyes here because I, I don't know if things are actually that bad in China. We've started to go back up to the upside. A name like Alibaba is something that's been interesting to me for a while. But again, we're still pretty depressed. I'm looking to rotate out potentially of some of these big US tech names and maybe China's the right spot, but I wonder if we're just trying to catch a falling knife here. Do you like FXI or did I mishear you? Um, I was looking at YINN. Oh, wow, so that's the, right. That's like the triple. And the problem is right. we have a call fly for Friday, for Thursday. So we have on this, we have on this, you can see my position, the 17, 20, 23. So we did it for a dollar twenty. The problem is, if the whole market gets destroyed, you wonder if that's going to work, right? So I mean, we were trying to take a profit, but then we're like, we're already short other things. Why don't we just stay in what we're in? And so at the last minute, we shorted twenty shares for every butterfly we're in. And but right, it's a little bit of hedge. I totally agree with you about it starting to turn the corner on regarding that fifty, yeah. just like you were talking about. But it might, and you might get that tech rotation where they go for the things that didn't go up this year. And so I totally see where you're coming from. Because we had, we had the worry today as well, Chris, that um, sales in China for Tesla units um, a couple of days ago. And then this morning we got a little bit of a warning, although there wasn't much follow through with that Apple warning, but we did hear also that sales were down in China uh, for Apple, for Tesla. So I'm thinking that bleeds over to Starbucks, Nike, names like that. But there's that yin and yeah. yang uh, that you brought to us before. So I definitely like all that. Anything on Reddit or anything or that DJT? I mean, do you guys trade any of those? I know Reddit. Yeah, we, 
We actually traded. Thank goodness we got out. Yep. Uh, we actually saw that the volatility was in the sky, and we actually did put flies in there around 60 on the opening. On the opening so, today, this morning, or? Yeah. Look what the expected move is for t next week, 21. You see that on the bottom right? Yeah, where are we looking? Oh, when right we, there. Yeah, when we did the butterflies, it was 34. Now, of course, we got out too early. We made like 14%. But the butterflies that we did for 318, I don't even want to know where they are. You know, you always root for it to go up when you're already out of it. Let's yeah, see. I know. <laughs> Isn't that Yeah, true? 373. So it's still okay. You did but, okay. You did okay. But it was all about that. This was a little overcooked into the announcement it was shifting to DJT. So when it was up, that was our theory that would come down to earth and it would take the volatility with it. Yeah, um, I was just looking at that as well today with DJT. We had an absolutely monster, wasn't it? Yeah, look at this, man. It's still going here in the after hours with DJT still down pretty nicely. Let's go to the one minute chart. Wow. We were actually talking about this $75 level here uh, that hit earlier. Now you're down to 57 and trying to go lower as I'm guessing. Yeah, like you mentioned, man, some of the volatility here uh, coming a little bit out of the name uh, to the long side and getting back. Remember, this was DWAC. So um, again, a name change. We've had a price discovery before with DWAC. Really for Reddit, I mean, we had some good plays today. We actually nailed the very bottom of this trade on reddit uh do you have to go at any time chris because i'll let you go uh immediately oh, uh, oh no, no all i have to do is try to find my cat that's hiding that we haven't i haven't been able to find all day yeah, do, so you have, you know, do you have a can of tuna do you have a can of tuna something you have a can, do you have a can of tuna around uh you know i should put that out uh that's a good idea that's a great idea but we have a not uh, just a handsome cats, face over so here that chris. won't work yeah, okay. Well, just be careful about whatever you do. Do not put out any traps other than that tuna can. Yeah, we had Reddit down here today early. We got a great fill right here at 63. Took it all the way back up to 68. Good luck on finding the cat, man. Uh, nice move right there. But then we got hit a little bit when it came back in, and then we left it at the end of the day. I kind of look at Reddit as, as ARM. ARM had a nice move. Here, let's go over with the trade ideas. I don't want to really talk about ARM. Um, I was sure. We'll pass on that. that some of the best trade, uh, worst trades I have are the ones I don't post for subscribers, thank goodness, because I've been really bearish on ARM, especially when somebody on network TV pounded the table on it at 145. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that when a secondary comes out or a uh, IPO lockup expiration that you get all these people on TV promoting it and it sold off now 16 points since then the problem is i had put flies under the market saying that's all bunk and then it just blew through it so thank goodness i was short don't laugh i was short 15 shares against my put flies that are way in the money and the 15 shares was enough to make up for the loss in the put flies I'm not, I mean, yeah, I mean, the amount of shares that you grab is, uh, you know, the risk associated with the position that you do have on. Your cat's uh, no way by the name of uh, Jinxie, is it? Your cat Jinxie? No, it's, uh, it's Sammy. But Sammy. you're, a, it, you know, I, I'll tell you. Do you know where Jinxie's from? Cat. I've looked everywhere while I'm trying to trade. So uh, he, I'm trying to do both. But the, the cats have a habit of coming out right when... Uh, right at dinner time. Yeah, my cat's name is William, and uh, he's very handsome. Is your cat a black cat by any chance? Yes. Yeah, same as mine. Okay, we'll share pictures. We'll share pictures. So, uh, um, well, and also share charts. Yeah, but, we'll uh, just go ahead. Uh, just uh, no, I mean, share any charts you want to show me. I mean, let I'm down. me know. I've got, I've got many more coming, my guy. Uh, all right, quickly, just an update for everybody that's watching right now. GameStop still making that move down on the one-minute chart. We're trying to base out here in and around 13 bucks. So we'll have to watch out to see if anything's going to be happening for GameStop pretty soon. Okay, um, you know, this NVIDIA was a big move down. But you know what's been really um, bothering me is that this little dip buy opportunity in here, I haven't made any dip buys in NVIDIA. And I just feel like, we're missing an opportunity here. We could think it's overdone. That's a nice story. Great. NVIDIA is overdone. It's boiled up to the upside. But you know what? 
I mean, is there a better name? Uh, if we're going to include this into the Mag 7 here, is this the number one dip buy opportunity that you know of? Is there something else that you like? I like Uber, but honestly, back into here, 870, 860, I feel like we got to buy some NVIDIA here until we're wrong. Let's see it break this 50 period moving average. I mean, if you wait around to buy at the 50 period moving average, eventually this average is going to go to the upside and you, you, know, you might be wind up buying this 850, 860. I have a bid down here. If we hit this in the next couple of days, I want to get long NVIDIA. Am I losing my mind or what? Because I like dip buys in NVIDIA right now. Um, I think this rebalancing, we just have to let the dust settle on Thursday. And, and the problem I'm having with NVIDIA is I don't want to get in too early. And I was just looking at it as you're talking and seeing what the trigger would be. And I got to think it's what you see here with that trend line, where you see that washout you're talking about. And then you see a bullish pattern uh, develop, even if you miss the first move. Right. So you're going to wait. So you're going to wait. That's what I'm watching. Okay, so wait for some confirmed support there. Okay, I really like NVIDIA. Give me your opinion then. Um, all right, you know what? I was going to ask you about Uber, but another name that you and I have talked about is going to be Disney, actually, this time, Chris. Let's look at Disney. So let's look at DIS. I'll let you give a second to call up your charts. Come over to my screen. Just, okay. to, just come over here for quickly, uh, just for a second. I know you and I have talked about this a couple times. I went over the thesis today of why we're long, and the reason why we're long was very, very simple. We had these crazy COVID bottoms down here near $84, $85. Um, the whole world wasn't traveling. Everything was shut down. Um, you know, Disney had its issues. Obviously on the reopen and then the direct-to-consumer uh, with ESPN, with Disney+, Plus, we had a huge move back up. Then all of a sudden this earnings report happened. We got out of Disney when it broke here. We started buying back because we thought this bottom in and around $80 we can't be that bad, can we? I mean, are we back to COVID bottoms? I don't know. We bought this bottom. We had talked about that. We broke above the 50. We broke above the 200. And now it seems like we're sailing high. I want to get some out right here. The last time I exited was 112. That seems like a miss. But right now we're getting back up to the upside, taking out this 118, 120. Maybe next stop is up here at 125. What is Disney looking like maybe from an option standpoint or from what you're seeing? It's been a nice move up. Again, we have proxy battles coming out. Um, maybe we wait for their next earnings report, but that's not until May 8th. So what's Disney looking like to you? Do we need to be worried if we're long here on a very nicely done move to the upside. Well, here we go again. You could take IBM, you could date Disney, you could take Uber and look how much they're up for the quarter. So you wonder if those are the stocks they're going to nail, but it seems like the hedge funds are really long, the tech stocks. So Disney, you know, I know it's, uh, it's parabolic, but, and it's up, uh, what is that, 20? Well, it's up a lot since you mentioned it when I was on the show. Yes, sir. So, I mean, you got to give yourself props. It's up about 25%, yeah. uh, almost 30%. But I just wonder about these at the, the next two days, if I should be buying downside puts. Okay, maybe that's the best way to cover your long positions. Uh, yeah, you could do that, um, especially when you look at it. It would be violent. Like you saw in SMCI the last hour or uh, NVIDIA. So to protect your positions, you can always go in and buy like the 118 puts. They're for they're 15 cents just in case. One of those just in case trades. Chris, we have over 2,500 people watching right now. I want to thank you for coming through today uh, on short notice. We're not going to let you go. I just put in the chat if anybody has any questions for you. So hang on maybe for a couple more minutes, and we'll see if yeah. the chat does that. So right now, Chris Brecher, thank you so much. He's here with us at Simpler Trading. Um, and if there's any questions for you, uh, let's go. Let's get them in through right now. All right, quickly over here, Fabian. I just want to check out GameStop one more time. Um, okay, so GameStop, by the way, uh, just for everybody here that's with us as we'll get some questions for Chris. Um, I just saw in here, 
Uh, all right, the best thing to do would be to search for the symbol. Uh, G-M-E-R, no, that's not right, gamer. Uh, G-M-E, I thought they were pausing and not having a conference call tonight. Um, right now, there it is right now. GameStop says they will not be holding a conference call today. Chris, wow. I don't think that's very good. Um, trading following, worse, trading there, lower than expected um, there. We'll wait to see what happens with guidance, but there it is right now. Favorite, GameStop plunges after revenue and EPS miss. Um, Shot in the dark here. Are you a gamer at all, uh, Mr. Brecher? No. Um, we had talked about a long time ago. My son is. And uh, he, uh, I mean, he's 27 now. He works. Um, I can't even go into what he does because I'm not allowed to know. So let's just leave it like that in computer security. But oh, okay. Maybe he's Palo Alto guy. Yeah. But I will tell you that... Um, he has probably 10 computers here, the old computers, and I keep hoping there's Bitcoin on it. I was going to say he's way. mining Bitcoin. He's mining Bitcoin, and he's using the power in your house to do that. So you're such a great father. You know, I, 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 you know he played a lot of um, Minecraft. Oh, there you and go. And I guess people pay you for picks or shovels. And I bug them like at least once a month. Like, are you sure you don't have Bitcoin in those Minecraft things? Right. And yeah, he uh, does. But that's why I've kept his computers just in case, because you know, if I threw them out, all of a sudden he'll say, "Oh, I had a digital wallet on that laptop. I'm a, I, that stinks." You say you uh, you threw it out. Could you? So just I have a whole stack of his computers. Could you just imagine like finding you know. You open up some sort of a wall and you even see like three Bitcoin there, like put 200K in your pocket. I mean, I'm down with that. Uh, that is for sure. All right, people have some silly questions in here. Some people want to know if you're hiring and stuff like that. Uh, but um, so that's that's not going to be happening. Uh, any opinion? Okay, here's a good question from a, from a long time viewer. So let's do this. Come over to my screen right now. Um, all right, so... If you have, so we talked about China for a little bit there, Oleg. Um, he's long yin, so you could look at the yin yang uh, there as well. But Henry Chung, I think this is a good question here. So, all right, what about any opinion on Boeing? So we've been trading Boeing here um, on the show for a minute. I've really liked just going back and sort of taking away some of the news. So shout out to Henry, good question. I know that some of our viewers have bought down here. I talked about buying some more for the long term down at this 177. Um, we talked about whenever you're using dish soap and random products like that to make sure that your products don't have leaks, so on and so forth. Not a great sign for Boeing, uh, but at the same time, I think that, hey man, it's been destructed to the downside. There's a lot of negative news in that. We just had a management shakeup the other day. I like Boeing down here, and quite frankly, I'm not afraid to say I'd buy these dips into 177 again if that's possible. I like the management change. Anything for you on Boeing? You know, it's really scary because uh, my son was going to California on a United Airlines flight, and they said that you have to wear a parachute. That got me a little scared. That's a little scared in there, but... Um, all kidding aside, the only thing I see with Boeing on the negative side is a Barron's article about their that this could hurt their cash flow. Right. But I thought they were a cash cow, so I don't know about that. Last time they said that, the stock went straight up. Probably the best way to play it is some kind of vertical call debit spread going out into like May, figuring that then you have limited risk, but a lot of reward if it does turn around. So why do you pick, a, like, how does that work exactly? Like, you're picking May. Like, are you just generally out a couple months every time when you're making those plays? Do you pick certain dates? Like, I would have thought maybe June because it's half a year. Yeah, or maybe June. Maybe you're right. I. It's more that it has so much technical damage, it might right. take Agreed. a long yep. time to recover. Uh, that's the way I looked at it. But now that I looked at earnings are coming up in April, you're probably right to play the June probably play the Junes and do something like a 200, 210. Okay, I think that's a, that's a safe way to do that as well. All right, Chris, um, I don't know if I have you. Do I have you next week or not? I'm not sure. Is there a play right now that you're looking at a little bit shorter term? So that's the next question in the chat, and then I'll let you go because we're past 430. Is there something other than you mentioned a little bit along China? Is there anything you're looking at in the next couple of days, maybe besides something related to that rebalancing, if there's anything other than that, uh, maybe that you're looking at uh, that we can get our, our viewers to look at with you? Um, don't laugh on this. 
with is one of the reasons uh, bonds have been, you know, really heavy is definitely because the commodities we've been, okay. you know, how many times I've harked about the DBA. Yep. Then you had uh, Bostic come out and say that there's some troubling commodity signs. Huh. So this is an idea for you, a long shot, that if you do get a rebalancing, that TLT starts to have a heck of a rally. So maybe buying the 94 TLT calls for this week. They're probably pretty cheap betting on some kind of pop. There we go. Chris Brecher, thank you so much. And um, is there any anything you want to talk about or anywhere people can find you? You doing any webinars or anything coming up? Um, I'm actually doing right now for probably four hours and ask me anything on stock twits. I have a ton of followers on there, like 48,000. Kaboom. So I have a lot of a uh, lot of questions to answer, but there have been great questions. You could just go to Christopher Brecher on stock twits. Ask me a question, a uh, reasonable question. There have been some bizarre questions. I bet. And I'm not doing any webinars, just uh, on the chart patterns mastery at least twice a day. And I jump on all day Perfect. if I see something. Well, thank you for taking the uh, time to jump on with us today. That's Chris Brecher. Go find him on Stock Twits and ask him anything you want, especially about those snakes. Thank you, Mr. Brecher. <laughs> we'll talk to you next time. All right, take care. Thanks for having me on. Ciao, no problem, anytime. Uh, okay, that's it. I don't have my, oh, there you go. It's Fabian, what a professional there, uh, running through that. Okay, so we went a little overboard there today, and I want to thank Chris uh, for, for everything. I mean, that guy's, what, what a great dude, um, and what a super smart guy for sure. So Chris Brecher, what's up with that? Uh, there he is, what's up? Um, okay, so we talked a little bit. We'll just go over some of our tweets there. We were tweeting all about this. I'm very, very excited uh, to have Mr. Kunal Desai coming through um, from at Wall Street, Bulls on Wall Street, uh, going to be coming through tomorrow on our podcast. That should be a heck of a lot of fun, man. You think we're having fun with Brendan. Uh, make sure you definitely check out our, our sticky note. We nailed that Reddit long today, man. That was a gorgeous trade down there. We got long 63, but we wrote down 62. That was a nice move to the upside. Watch out for DJT as well. Tesla's bottom was 178. We nailed Tesla today. That was a good trade. Amazon, we played off the 180, although we switched it into the short at the end of the day. And I still want to look back at DraftKings. I don't think that story is done. All righty then. What a good show. I want to thank everybody for watching. The one thing that we haven't done yet, and we have to do it every single day because you guys are the best. It's roll call. Let's go, Fabian, with the roll call. It's not working. So drrr, roll call is now. All right. So who is here with us right now? We have, trust me when I tell you we have a real cool sort of graphic for that. Unfortunately, like I opened up Stream Deck and it's not loading on this computer. So we'll figure that out uh, after. Breaking news. All right, uh, Kunal is going to be with us, uh, me and Brendan, Saturday morning on the podcast. All goes well, man. We'll bring him on the show. Why not? Thank you so much for For Profit saying the best show ever. We really appreciate that. What's up to Daryl Flitch as well? What's up to Tom's Trades? What's up to Michelle Meir? Thank you so much uh, for those qu kind comments about Chris. I agree, man. Very, very likable guy. Mr. Westermeyer is here. Thank you so much. Uh, next time we'll get together, man. I'll be here. Let's go. It's Chef Joe. Chef Joe gets a roll call uh, for sure. Mike is here. Kling Daddy Sebastian uh, is here as well. Mike the Mangler. Okay. Uh, Mike Breeze is here. Frank Boso. The Huang family is here. What's up? Tease trade with all the trophies and some beers. What's up, Tease? Uh, everybody that's here. Derek Thompson. Bright Awakening. Odyssey Flights. Tokyo. Sh oh, I thought that was Chef there. I think you had a, you had a, 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 a battle there between you and Chef Joe. Uh, hey, thanks for sticking around to you too, Pillsbury. Hey, look, man. Traders stay late. That's the hashtag. What I can, all I can ask, go over at Trader TV, Sean, like, follow, subscribe, all of that, both on Instagram and on Twitter, aka X. Thank you so much. I'll be back tomorrow at 8.30 with my guy, Obi. It's already midweek, baby. We're going to go home here. I still got to do my, I got to file some taxes. Uh, so we're going to get ready to do that as well. We'll check out some charts. You can never look at enough charts. So join me tomorrow at 8.30. We'll have Sticky Note Nation again. Thanks to my guy, Fabian. Thanks to Chris as well. Go find him at Christopher Brecher on Stock Twits. Thank you so much. I'm exhausted. I'll see everyone tomorrow.